10 years old. Did you go to a private school? No. I went to a public school. The fuck is a roller when backpack? Do you... I, I also went to a public school. Well, it's like, it's like, it's like a little suitcase with a backpack. I also went oh. to the... Uh, to a, well, um... they definitely deserved the curse, so that's fine. <laughs> I was in the middle of the boonies as well. <laughs> What is a roller backpack? I need to see the stop. So well, you've never seen how not heard no. of roller backpacks. It's, it's, it's like a school in the ghetto. You expect me to have a roller backpack? Who has a roller backpack at In fact, I would thought in the ghetto you would have had more roller backpacks. No, I don't know why. We had like did. backpacks hanging on by like duct tape. I still have yeah. the same backpack from elementary school. What is a roller I backpack? I don't know. It looks like closet. a suitcase. I got a Jansport. It's a suatcase. Jansport yeah, I... last literally decades. The I got bottom has holes a Jansport in, it, but you in know, I, grade I 8 and I've had it since. You put your clothes in the bottom of the bag where there's all the holes in it and then nothing will rip through. Uh, this, 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 this backpack would cause fights. Where I um, went to school. This would have caused fights. Imagine like, <laughs> yeah. you know, someone coming around with a roller backpack. How much uh, that, It would get kicked that, like 24-7. Right? Oh, uh, yeah, they no, they were dangerous. You. you know, I think they some were... people at my school might have had them. And yes, they were bullied for it. Um, I don't know why, but there was like just loads of people had roller backpacks at my school. I've I don't never seen this before. I mean, it's really smart and efficient, but it's so weird. I don't know yeah, why. Um, I don't even think I did. I'm pretty sure I've never had a roller backpack in my entire life. Um, I've never seen okay, Michael, pretty sure. cool then. I don't know, man. I don't remember much. Um, but um, so I, I went. To... I had a satchel bag. I had that in high school. I had satchels. Yeah. I don't know what your guys' like lunch rooms were like, but we had like a weird lunch room where it was like an entirely separate room. So you would go into the separate room to get into the line for food, mm -hmm. and then you would go into the cafeteria. Yeah. Uh, anyways, problem with that being is we have a bunch of kids who are stupid, dumb little kids with these very dangerous roller backpacks. They have no clue what they're doing, and they have no self awareness whatsoever. <laughs> uh, mm. So it turns out. Uh, I tripped over one of them. Oh, um, no. oh. with that many, you uh, found the your teeth? <laughs> yeah, so I slammed face first into the ground, um, uh, and smashed this tooth and this tooth, and they were entirely cut in half. Um, oh wow, I didn't feel anything, uh, because but I did notice that when I got up, I had half of my tooth on my elbow. <laughs> Shock is oh man, yeah. Um, so the roots. Uh, the nerve endings for both of these teeth are completely dead. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, they're man. gone. Yeah. yeah. Actually, this one is um, an entire cap. So this is, the whole thing is fake. Mm. Yeah, so that's why it's like slightly different colored. Problem, so. Yeah. I'm probably saying none of mine are fake. Mine are yeah. just None of mine are, but I still have a baby tooth. So. Got a razor light. Oh? Mm -hmm. It should never come out? You didn't get it pulled? Yeah, little guy right here. Oh, oh yeah, it is. It's like way smaller than oh, every yeah, other it's tooth. It's totally small. And it has like a filling in it and everything. It's not even a healthy tooth by any means, but I just never grew one to back it up, so. Hmm. Did you get it pulled or would that like mess up your jaw? I'd have to get like teeth? a really wicked replacement if I did. Um, so. A wicked replacement would be like a jagged tooth, be like, yeah. My, I mean, it would just have to be like a full tooth. complete tooth replacement, which people do, obviously. But just gotta get the golden you tooth. Know, I, ha I have something there. It's spacing everything properly. It's just not lined up with all the other teeth because it's a baby as long as it's strong enough to handle everything you need then you're good funny enough you you know i walk in with this thing to any dentist office and they're like oh you've got to keep that thing forever come on keep it going That's they, they get excited yeah. about it it's a treasure it's a, yeah my, my dad had, had like... a baby tooth till he was like in his 50s so wow i had three until what? like five years ago or something so. yeah i just walk into every dentist's office and they go okay what's the story behind those I feel like I've learned so much about all of you guys today, and I feel so informed now. We I also like, has fake teeth. Before this started, as Mitch we the camera can't ready. blood clot. Mousy wears sweatshirts, and Alexander has. A Mitch teeth. can't bleed properly like another. Mousy human wears being. sweatshirts is the most like generic like detail <laughs> possible, as if nobody else in the world wears sweatshirts. That said, I, I don't think I've ever seen Mousy in a sweatshirt until today, so. <laughs> How hot Here is it are. outside? It's not even it's, a character it's, thing. It's yeah. 21 degrees outside. Hi. Celsius. Yeah. All right. Let me find Celsius on, to I Fahrenheit. We need that. Like, I'm on just to do this. I'm grabbing the freedom units. Hold on. Oh, 70. Freedom, yeah. freedom units? Wait, that's that's so what she calls them all the time because we're America. It's and we do you things special. Like it's 70. Yeah, I am. And I have a blanket. That's exactly how cold it is where I'm at. 
That's like what most people go for. for a Dude, it's 80 be. degrees in this room. That's why I'm wearing this. I think <laughs> 70 degrees was the lowest it got here in the winter from Canada. Because as soon as I take this off, then my skin that is warm gets hit by like the the regular temperature air, and it'll be like, oh no, now you're cold. Because my body temperature is not the same as the outside air. That's fair. Mm. I'm just blessed with the well, blessed and cursed with a ridiculously hot body temperature. I mean, and we've been blessed by freedom. You're just hot apparently. in general, Alexander. Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> Freedom units. Freedom units. God bless. I God bless say, the freedom units. He's not here. I can vote with Alexander all I want. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is true. Zell is up for grabs today. Hi. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Kano's the only other person in this campaign I've slept in the bed with. So That's true. I am wearing your face today as well because I was realizing, you know what? Alexander's face makes me look the best whenever I put it on. So it I'm just going to wear it again. It does not work with your face. I think, is... I think again because we have, like you are saying earlier, I got the split tooth. So I have yeah, a very so similar smile to you. Place. Yeah, of course we're all talking about our dentistry work over the years. And that came Can't up. wait to go to dentist and they're gonna rip me apart. It's gonna be a terrible day. <laughs> Half of our pre D and D conversations are just wild. Or just random, sh just random BS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you guys, you guys all got a little taste of it today, which is kind of fun. But we'll see. Maybe next yeah. week we'll learn something. Learn about messy. roller backpacks. I have one other weird thing about my mouth is go that on. it's so narrow that when I sleep, I actually chew on the sides of my tongue. So it looks like I have a load of thrush, but it's actually just dead skin from me chewing on it. I have a scallop tongue. I have like, cause my, my tongue lays flat against my teeth and my teeth are so like narrow mm -hmm. as well that like it creates like little grooves in my tongue. Like, hold on. Mm. I don't know if I'm comfortable observing this, but I'm very curious. I have such a short tongue that would never happen to like me. Little, like, like little My parents make fun marks. of me for it. I can't touch my, like this is how, I thought, hey. Ugh. I just got a big mouth, big head. It's like it's never been and nothing. I just like eating oh my food. goodness, both of y'all. You crazy. Dead. <laughs> yeah, on that's, the side. That's right? all dead it's skin. Like grooves, right? Yeah, it's all uh -huh. dead skin from chewing. Me, I can I fit can't. an entire lemon in my mouth and not Look, complain. Jeez. Ashley, you're asking the wrong questions, right? As Americans, we will go against anything else that is well known. Hey, yeah, fair. <laughs> I'm trying to be better. That's why we don't have Celsius. Versions, just because, like. Obviously, recently, British people have been complaining about their heat, and it's honestly hotter than I've been getting, so... Yeah. You know, didn't deserved. But... Can you guys do the clover tongue? I can't. I don't think... I can't clover tongue, but I can... I can... Yeah, I can only do the basic roll. Bended front teeth? What does that mean? <laughs> so um, you have bent I think this means they've got <laughs> bended front teeth. <laughs> uh, aren't all front teeth, like, mildly bent, though? Maybe it's just... Yeah. Imagine if you front teeth maybe bent like, backwards, like was forwards. buck toothy? Yeah, I guess oh, that would maybe be the kind of case with it. Because mm -hmm. hmm. technically, it's all in like one line. It's just like a curved line. But if it's like slightly jutted yeah. out, because all of my teeth kind of like curve inwards a little bit, you know? Yeah. Mm. When I touch the back of my tongue or the tongue to the back of my teeth, like they're like. Yeah, you're taking the roller coaster ride. What? Doesn't loop oh. with your whole mouth and go loop de loop and then, no, that's just me. Okay, that's fine. How do you do that? What? I'm talented. What can I say? Oh, <laughs> that's true. No lies there. <laughs> Alan, D and D. <laughs> you're really yeah, trying to segue so hard here. D &D. Like you're like calling every five seconds. Let's think of something new to talk about. You know, we just do D and D. I had that too, Bad Wolf. One of my bottom teeth. It didn't line, align. Like one of them was like, like this is the rest of my teeth, and it was like, eh. Mm. Chats, of course, all lining up there. Things. Mm -hmm. Squirrel cheeks. Squirrel? You do have squirrel cheeks. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit extra. Seems like you could stuff some stuff in there, you know. I had right. them when I was a baby. I ripped the tooth out from a Jolly Rancher. Huh? My brother did that with an apple. I did with a Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher <laughs> makes sense. Those things are vicious. Yeah, I bit it the way you're not supposed to, and I had it in the back of my tooth. You're never yeah. supposed to bite Ooh. them, period. It's a no. Jolly Rancher. I, that was my first yeah, time having one, and it was my last. Yeah. <laughs> I've Elementary school, a, it teaches the things. Out specifically about Jolly Ranchers. Before, so. Yeah, there's a lot of candies. Oh, you have like are... an overbite, you mean? Dangerous. Oh, I have a massive overbite. So do I. Mine goes like eat. Yeah, I just got the gap. I'm blessed. I actually don't have bad teeth. It's just that I had to get braces because I had a terrible overbite. 
Hmm. Also, it turns out having two fake teeth makes getting braces extraordinarily difficult. That does sound like a challenge, doesn't it? You got one of the like the braces, and then it had like a gap, and then like the rest of the. No, I, I had I had pieces on both of them. The problem was uh, before because this is when I got capped like a couple years ago. It's like wait, well, well, I have to have braces. But the problem was if the wire would snap, it could rip the tooth apart again. Because uh, it was yeah, so it was. Move. Yeah, because it was just kind of put in there. It's it's kind of like um it's almost like the the way they do it before they can put a cap on it because they need your mouth to actually grow fully before they yeah, can they like, grind it and cap it. There, yeah. Makes sense. So they basically use like a, kind of like a plaster almost. Um, so it's like literally like I have like half a porcelain tooth basically, um, for most of it. So it's like cut in half, but that means it breaks off very easily. Okay. So. I've had to get it replaced a couple times. This one is still half of that plaster. This one is fully capped, though. They can't they can't fix this one until the, the plastic breaks off. Ooh. So. My dad used to rip my teeth out of my face. <laughs> Someone said, "Did your parents ever do the yeah, slamming I mean, door?" Some people door? do that. No, my my dad mm. literally would take yeah. tissue, wrap his fingers around the my tissue. tissue. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. That's so funny. I've pulled my own out a couple times when I was. That's what I. But... That's what I said in chat. I was like, I would just rip mine out if they got so too loose. So I would just pull them out. Teeth. I yeah. think once I tried to twist one out, and I just was like, never again. Never again am I doing oh, this. Oh yeah, when you just... twist it out, the nerve stays connected too, so it's like. Dangling. Yeah, it's really yeah. weird. Yeah, no, you gotta mm -hmm. do it. You just gotta pull it all at once. You can't go yeah. messing around with it. Hey. What I would usually do is I just like if it starts getting loose, I'd push it around until it kept getting yeah. looser, and then pull it. Once it's like really loose. Yeah, you wiggle school, it like, enough, and then you got that one pull just. Dangling. Yep. They were still like dangling on by the nerve, just at the front, <laughs> and they like they didn't pull it out or anything. They're just, hey, look what I got! And then they pushed it back with their tongue, and then let it wobble like a pendulum. And I was, okay, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Yeah. This is why I don't like Kleenex now. Get like Kleenex gives me like the chalk, like ch nails on a chalkboard type feeling because like. Sorry, sorry, Michael. That's no, okay. I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm pulling out. I know exactly what you're talking about. My God. I know. Anyone I'm else have any personal, you know, things that really, you know, I, if anyone has any stories about their eyes, that messes with me quite a bit. So I've been hitting the so. eyeball with the handball. Yeah, I mean, oh, that baseball like I was blank. telling you about like earlier. Point blank. That baseball I was telling you about earlier nearly broke one of my uh, ocular cavities. So I would have been blind in my oh, left yeah. eye. Ooh. If yeah, it broke. Sure I got hit right in the orbital as well. So. I already told you yeah. two of my worst injuries from sports. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. I have many others, but nowhere near as bad. <laughs> I think the worst like playing yeah. soccer, just a lot of bruised shins, and that's all. I'm just yeah. happy I never ever broke a bone or anything like that from sports. Knock on. I true. never broken a bone either. <laughs> I just had a few concussions. I've been very close. Same as I've had dislocations. Yeah, I dislocated my shoulder before. I got uh, bit by a dog in my face. That's why I have a ooh, true. Bar. Guess guy. I got bit by a rabbit today. Oh, cool. <laughs> I, I just it, held my just, finger out to him as if it was a piece of food, and he bit it. So it's, it's on me, really. But yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah. So he would just sniff it and be cute. But I don't have any. Nope. Uh, I don't have any uh, cartilage on my kneecaps, so it's just bone there. Oh no, that's gonna be a problem later. Oh, it's been a problem. <laughs> Trust me. My, I have my kneecap massive ligament grow... damage in both of my ankles. Yeah, my kneecaps grow uh, grew over my uh, the cartilage. Thanks, hemophilia. So <laughs> it's just bone. My knees get very sore. So I guess we can play D and D today. Yeah, D and D. <laughs> yeah, we can save the human body discussion more for next week. Oh no, yeah. it'll come into the session. Next week's anatomy. Try to ask the characters what bones they've broken. <laughs> Who needs another week and have anatomy? D&D had a broken bone system. Oh, we can talk about I their mean, missing fingers. there's a lot of really good natural ones. I have a missing finger. It is good. So if anyone rolls any natural ones in this system, we're going to be working them into play, that being said. <laughs> you might oh, be no. chipping some teeth this session. I'm already one blind in one eye as a character. I don't need to be blind in both. Can we do it where, like, instead... Kano will know the mechanic I'm talking about, where mm -hmm. if you take multiple damage to that area then you get a or at oh, first yeah, you get a exactly. scar and then scar. you get and then you lose a limb. I've, i have always like like a fan of that 
I've always ruled D and D where it's like if you don't magically heal something, you get a scar from it. So like if you get like sliced across your chest and you don't magically heal it, then like you get the scar. But if you magically heal it, the whole point of it is to prevent scarring and stuff like that. So like, I like that, if you die the fact from that people can just go to sleep and recover all wounds. So yep, yeah. yeah. So then you'd get a scar because you didn't maybe magically. walking, walking, and walking then scabs. If you die from something <laughs> and you get resurrected. Maybe then whatever, however you died would like that would be a, a lasting scar. Yeah. What happens if you get fireballed and your yeah. whole body's incinerated like three times? How yeah. do you... Yeah, so what, if you what if you're charred? What if you just charred? Really become tan? Just, I, mean, I, I don't know. Fireball's such a rare spell to use. Point. Yeah, he uses <laughs> it anyway. Is there a body for the soul to come back to at that point? You're just uh, a walking I pile mean, of ash. Back, oh, your skin's always ashy at that point. And, you know, yeah. yeah. Always yeah. ash. I guess it's technically little... it's, it's like sort of like from Mis uh, divine Mis intervention, right? Ball, that little fuzzball principal dude. You could just look like him the whole time. <laughs> I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, guys, you made me ink. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, since we're all in chaos mode anyway, let's all roll to see uh, who's going to give us a previous. <laughs> one. Mitch, you uh, you're off the hook. Mm -hmm. Slash roll d twenty. Claim day 20, lowest goes. Oh, well, this will be. Well, well my low. Yay. What happened previously on Titan's Edge? Let's do it. The book. Cool. I will the find your is, is doing it again. Um, but yeah, someone <laughs> in the chat brought up the point. Fan art. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, no, so much. So much. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. no, that's an oh yeah. This series has gotten so much fan art. It's wild. It, recently too. Thank you everyone very much though. So. Yeah. Um, but let's move over to just a little glimpse of some fan art. Let's see. We got Rex having an emotional breakdown. He's back. Every day, Kurds. And we have Ignatius watching his own kids. Yep. Kind of makes sense. <laughs> and failing the test but getting the hardest question right. I may not be, be an idiot, but I'm not stupid. We have different characterizations of all of our characters recently. When everything goes wrong, but <laughs> your life, you're used to it. Classic Milo. Yeah. We got good memes coming through from Alma. Okay. And then, of course, more Milo. We got some <laughs> wake art today. Very nice. A. Hey. Oh, the ship art's coming into play. The bromance of my long rex, of course. The bromance. Oh, the bromance. bromance. All right. Someone else coming in. We got a little bit of Milo. <clears throat> More bromance. A different bromance, even. Jeez. I have so much bromance. <laughs> Milo's just got bromanceable character, I guess. That's what I'm saying. You're going to hit us one day with the fact that you had, like, a husband or something, and it's just going to... We're all going to be like... There it is. Okay, and no, I'm saying it's gonna be like a shocker, but like no, I know. Also not that's a that's that's what I'm gonna say. That's our that's character. Good. No one was surprised yeah. by this. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. players not surprised. Character oh say, characters old. only one yeah. husband. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't in a polygamy relationship or po polyamorous relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that one. It's cute. Time. It is just. Nap yeah. time. Rex just totally like the little just pale. slept there, and then everyone else just huddled around, and like yeah. Rex unconsciously wrapped his arms around like, them. But yeah. I love the tail. I love when the tail like wraps. Oh, the tail curls yeah. around over there. Yeah, yeah. you. It's funny because when he sleeps by himself, I pretend he like he's like a cat. Like he like goes on the ground, like walks around a second, and then he just mm -hmm. passes out. When other people tuck yes. in, though, there he is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good old vines with the situation of him floating up with the levitate spell. Oh yeah, Chorik coming into play. That Chorik is the best. Chorik. Our king. I love Chorik. And your friend Steve. Do 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 Steve. <laughs> I also love there's, there's actually two fan arts of Torque in this. That one, and there's another one that came up, I think, yeah. today. Mm -hmm. Which is oh. hilarious because I was like, I that's Torque. Oh. Yeah, I love everyone sticking to the spring Milo 
arc right here. A lot of people are. Yep. Well, what's the summer? Yellow? Oh, uh, like orangey. We had yeah. that one as well, yeah. We haven't seen yeah, No, it's spring. Like I haven't been summer. <laughs> I think it was spring. No, spring, winter, and fall. Sorry, fall. Were you fall? Was I fall or summer? I don't remember. Currently summer. fall. Was I summer? I think you, yeah. were, you started winter. Then when you winter had those for sure. flashbacks, you went to summer. Summer, okay. Then recently yeah. with the poop situation, you went to spring as an act of desperation. Yeah. Poop. Fresh air, kindly. Oh, Emony's at, or uh, Wicks having a hard, hard time. <laughs> Shadok's doing his thing. <laughs> the Shadok's I didn't see that one. Great. <laughs> There's another set of like. I haven't seen ones. that Shadok one. They're so good. Oh, an it's glorious. Everything. Yes. <laughs> Go, Rex Neil. just there. We got some of the ways. squad just chilling here. I couldn't find Wick at first. I was like, no, oh, I didn't. They I, like, oh. I saw this and thought yeah, they just blend it in. out, but no. It's Ammo. Just it's just blend white, yeah. The white hair. Their hair, yeah. <laughs> Milo's a princess, too. Oh. Fantastic. I appreciate it. Milo. Princess. Milo. Stop. Milo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah. They're oh, the last some one. Pixies. What? <laughs> what? Arts and gang. Kill them. <laughs> Rex coin. Rex stonks. stonks. Yeah, I guess you gotta get those stonks. Mr. Stilio Man. Apparently, there's a whole <laughs> another arc of fan art. Just. Yep. It's just going up. Rex <laughs> rising. Oh, there we go. That's hey, another Chorik. And I was like, that's Chorik? Oh, I see. He now canonically has a white haired man bun. Good. <laughs> see, I was just thinking he was bald this whole time. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I forget what I was picturing originally, but. Because I made like six or seven characters for the, you know, initial cave scene. And then right. just one of them survived and all the others died, so. Yeah, our boy. Miss Rabbit has fainted. Miss Rabbit has fainted yeah, short again. Panic, you. Miss Rabbit has fainted. Okay. Miss Rabbit has fainted. Miss Rabbit has fainted. Miss Rabbit has fainted. Rabbit has fainted. <laughs> again. Man time. Same <laughs> <laughs> short right there. Yep. Good to see we got m multiple green people with white hair and plenty of white hair representation. So much yeah. white hair representation. <laughs> oh no, not these two. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, yeah, let the world it burn. Fits. It fits. <laughs> it's dangerous. Oh, there's literally new fan art that's happened since we started this. Yeah. Yeah, since we started. Yeah, yeah, two of them are just fresh right here. Alma going in. All right, I got. Oh, we got to get away from this fan art. It's, it's enough. It's enough. All right. Well, we had a little bit of a complication with uh, technical difficulties, but I think now. Everything is fine. <clears throat> for now. Everything is cool. And, and Milo, what happened last time on Titan's Edge? Allow me, friends, to tell you the story of a band of uh, words I can't say on stream. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, we started on the Leviathan, as we left off the previous episode. As we approached Garka, there were some hefty scenes finishing up some conversations um but as land approached on the horizons the group rejoined together to set sail into the most treacherous portions of the water because i'm pretty sure the captain was trying to kill us um so they gave us a tiny little lifeboat to so sail through the Ivy Coast, the most dangerous portion of the coastline in Agarica, full of living plant life and other things that want to kill you. Speaking of plant life that wants to kill you, we were chased by vines in the water. Um, and then the vines kept trying to, to take us, um, which was kind of not good. Uh, and then they started forming a vine wall. Um... What ensued 
the history books will write down as one of the greatest crimes to happen to Pixie Kind. As Milo and Wick, in a tandem duo, destroyed the vine wall with flames of glory, killing plenty of pixies along the way. And they sailed through the open hole in the wounded plant's uh, life. And as we approached the land, we made it to the shore, and things couldn't possibly get worse. Wrong, they did get worse. A singing, marching band of centaurs uh, found our lovely uh, group uh, washed up ashore, introduced themselves, kept playing music, and after a little bit of conversation, decided to take them to the nearest city of Agarica, uh land to the a mother tree, Mother Myrtle. Along the way, they were asked to uh, give up uh, some possessions that were valuable as a sort of ritualistic thing for the centaurs. Uh, and a very large hole. I don't know what the rest of that hole is. Also, there was some shocking of, uh, events and discussions from Anemone, uh, apparently about the death of her family uh, and her village and everyone she cared for, um, which was sad. It was very sad and shocking. Uh, and things only got worse when we arrived at the city. Is it, is it just Myrtle? Is the name of the city Myrtle? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we arrived at Myrtle. Uh, makes us the Moni Myrtle. No. Yeah. Yep. The first thing we, the group wanted to do was visit uh, the Mother Tree to pay respects. However, we're intercepted by um, some creature. I think it was a tabaxi. Mm -hmm. um, white, right? White tabaxi. Yeah. White tabaxi. Uh, proceeding Iggy being far too kind for his own good and honest um, they dispatched the annoyance and proceeded onto the tree where Mother Myrtle revealed some disturbing secrets or, or pieces of information not really secrets yeah. apparently she had recently bared witness to portions of Anemone's family, along with some information about the other trees and what the state of Agarka is as we prepare to complete our task for the Titan's Watch. Dejected, sad, tired, the party sat down for the night, preparing to rest, and that is where we left off. Alexander, before you start, uh, I think Michael and I are switched on the No, thing. thank you. You're welcome. Why did they switch? I think it's because Mitch switched the last moment, you know. Mm. Mm. And we're going to blame Mitch for that one. Yep. No, that makes sense. Yeah, it seems like a perfectly reasonable I hate thing. to fix my brightness. <laughs> I'm on myself. I'm on the map! No, I am on the... Arca! I had your picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In all thy glory! Hail, hail, Agarka! There is no Agarka! Oh my it's God. gone! <laughs> I'm dead! D oh, that dead. screen's correct. Yeah. And we return to our heroes getting finally a full night's rest. After, well, to be honest, many rests on a very treacherous journey. But now they are here. They are in Agarica. Under the boughs of Mother Myrtle. The tree stated her roots were under strain. And said there are many holes that you may be able to access the roots from. Possibly private information, but possibly the source of your next mission. After hearing, of course, the complications of 
her family, and Emony is distraught. Do doesn't want to really talk to anyone right now. Wants to kind of just figure out what to do next. But before all that, some of you come to find yourself awake. Everyone gets full rest. Get any possible spell slot you may be missing back. I'm pretty sure there's a fireball and a flamethrower in there somewhere, but... <laughs> yes. I get this back at the top of the day. Yeah. And you have returned to the daylight. The daylight feels strange because you've spent so much time in Fulminox where, well, it's simply cloudy at all times of day and night. Now you see complete rays of sunshine arcing down before you. Many of the flowers are in full bloom. You can almost see the spores and pollen shooting off of them as they reach towards the sky, growing ever further. What's everyone up to? I want to look for stones. Pretty ones. Make me a survival check. Why do you or stone hate search me? check? Because <laughs> I like to complicate things for my players. I don't even have. I. <sighs> oh. Go on oh. about hating you. <laughs> <laughs> a twenty-two. It would have been a, would have been 20. a natural twenty, as it were. You find, you find the most beautiful little pieces of what seem to be quartz, amethyst, different speckles of <clears throat> interesting shine within some of the rocks. They seem to be have rounded out over time with the passing of elements. Beautiful stones. To purpose however you may. Sure, they're not quite the, the status of titan glass which you found on a previous continent, but these are just laying around across the dirt, across the sand, across various bits of rock and debris. You find many things. Oh, yeah. Cool. What's everyone else up to? Uh, I am back to Winter Milo as well. For the record. Ooh. So as the day comes, the spring Milo transitions straight back to uh, winter. His original form of a blue-skinned Aladrin with white hair. Hmm. Um, you look... You, you should check your skin. Did uh, you do that on purpose? Yes. I mean, I am back home, so I feel like I should take on the forms that I took on for most of my life, at least. I didn't know that. I thought I thought that I thought it was seasonal, and then I was really confused on why the seasons were passing so quickly. I that is. <clears throat> sometimes it is uh, emotion. Sometimes it is just pure decision. <gasps> like me. That's Except fun. I cannot do it on will. It is sort of a daily thing. Every day I could be something different, but I choose not to. Could you just make me a nature oh. check? Sure. Oh, did I just draw my sweater? No, I didn't. Nature. 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 Well. <laughs> well. Thank you for your time. I so quit Wick, the campaign. <laughs> um, with your natural one, you... That's so many crits. <laughs> your response of, you know, just thinking the... F Man, the seasons are passing real fast. Seems justified. But Milo, you of course know that, you know, seasons are are not simply a passage of time here. They're a region you go to. Um, you grew up in a region where it was a lot of spring with a glimpse of winter nearby. You had many opportunities to go to a region of autumn. You know where to go to find summer and every different thing you found. The seasons have not passed naturally since... Of course, the Titan Solstice has passed. The Titan of Seasons and Change. 
so seasons are complicated and okay. you being an Eladrin know that as well as anyone I mean there is the other complication with the island and in the way the seasons passes I'm surprised you had you are, you are from here no I just start playing with Milo's hair <laughs> His, his white locks have returned. Can I braid this sometime? Yes, I don't see why not. I prefer to keep it sort of... Huh? I said let's go! It's this fine? Uh, I mean, there's so many things about the way the seasons work here. I'm surprised you never noticed Um, how the, the seasons work here on the Garka. Because if they follow the Titan... The area's seasons are not based on time, it is based on area. So where you are is kind of determinate, deterministic. I didn't travel much, and I've only been alive for like 20-something years. How old am I? Less than Milo. <laughs> 22. I've only been alive for 22 years, and I don't really travel is... much. Also, you true changing seasons on other continents, so I didn't know how it was working. I didn't know that is fair. what was happening. To be honest, I don't think there are as many seasons on Fulmanox either. I think, regardless, it is sort of one big brainstorm. Uh, Indeed, the changing of seasons has not been a common concept for almost a thousand years. Mm. Well, something... I didn't know! I just this didn't know! Fun. I mean, Ugh. it is very easy for me to know. I, I have people who lived that I spoke to from the time when the seasons did change. It is fine. I think it okay, is... Okay, then why uh, are you doing it like kind of like mansplainy? Was I... I did not mean to. I apologize if that is what it seemed like. I it's was fine. sort of trying to... It's fine. As... I forgive okay. you. It is fine. Would you like to paint my nails as well? <gasps> yes. <laughs> I feel like we, can, we can't do it now, though. We can't do it now. We gotta go. We have no. To find Anemone's parents so that she can stop being like that, like Moby. Oh yes, that was the other thing I wanted to talk about. I know it is probably hard to. She's probably gone through so much. Uh -huh. But uh, before we arrived, based on her description, I also had sort of deduced that it was a rodent that attacked. A village, which also like seemed a, a bit fishy. Like a to mouse me. rodent? Well, a mouse is a type of rodent, so I guess so, yeah. I was thinking more of like something closer to a hair. Do you, think a, bun do you think a bunny attacked a satyr village and slaughtered them all? I actually I don't think. I think she was charmed. I think that is something that is probably more likely. Um. It is possible that uh, there are some kind of offshoot species that I'm unaware of. Uh, I couldn't pinpoint it, but there are some stories similar in the lore of my people. So, uh. Uh, it's hard to tell. But it was based on description, seemed very similar to the other rodents of the island. So. Did, um, did Mother Myrtle say it was a, a Capricorn, or was that just information you gave an Emony? She did indeed say that. She did. It was... Say. I, if I'm, if my memory is serving me correctly, I'm pretty sure Mother Myrtle said it was a cap, capicorn. Yes, I think that's what she said. I thought that was a sign. I think capricorn is a sign. Capicorn is a species of rodent. Oh. I know it's very confusing. Weird naming strategies. Mm -hmm. um, What's up with these? I assume whoever exists to create the world as it is now. Yeah. If there is a god or a set of Oh, maybe gods. it's Celestia, like Rex talked about. Maybe it's Celestia's like. Ah. Can, if he. Ah. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. Actually, I think this is exactly who you were talking about. Oh! <laughs> Just for hitting my love. <laughs> I was not talking about you! <laughs> no, I know you weren't talking about me. You were Shut talking up. about Rex. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'll have Rex walk over. Oh, God damn. <laughs> hey, yeah, I like no go to lean on a tree and then just like stumble because there's nothing there. Hey. Um. 
Uh, so. Thanks. C Celestia, I would like some information. If possible. Is it... Um, is it like an actual deity? How does it work? First thing in the morning, I gotta do a sermon. Okay. Uh, I did not ask for a sermon, I asked for a lecture. I guess the best way to put it is Celestia is a deity, I guess. Uh, it's more or less something more the humans follow. They are fond of the religions. They do like their religions, that I will say. Um, it mainly has to do with love, nature, purity. <laughs> Where it coming from me? Um, that seems counter theistic. This is well, yeah. when when you're raised for a while by you humans, you start to learn their weird things, I guess. And Celestia was one of them. I'm, I'm not sure what weird things about human love I want to know about. Mm. So, so, um, do you do you follow it then? Do you follow because do you follow because it's human, and you're not. Yeah, I followed a bit. I mean, I was forced to learn it. And teach it, so it's okay, I guess. It's better than what I used to deal with. I mean, one who uses holy magic, it, I would assume you are touched in some way by this the uh, deity. Mm. Lick turns around. Maybe. Hmm? I don't know. My magic's weird. I think magic I don't see many is... many cleric dragonborns running around. I don't think at all, actually. I mean, I don't think so. Is there any religions based in the Yolands? Do you remember? Besides killing and plundering and all that stuff? I don't think there's a god for killing and plundering and all that stuff. Um, you search far enough, maybe you'll find one. Guess that is fair. It's mainly just the rulers be a god for all types of stuff, even good and bad? Like, you have a deity for, like, love and nature, and what you- a purity, you said, and then you would have one for the opposite, for balance and karma and other stuff that people believe in, right? Religion checks, everybody. Oh, gosh! Do -do 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 <laughs> Watch okay. the priest. Watch as the priest fails the religion check. Yeah, yeah. Best priest. No, oh, right. oh, top oh, score. Well. Top mark. Yeah. That's so funny. I have a plus I'm, four to religion. There is a god. <laughs> How do you have plus zero to your religion? You forget. As a cleric. Oh, int. You forget that I don't care. <laughs> didn't take uh, like cleric. like religion checks as a cleric. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, that makes sense. <laughs> but yes, Rex and Milo, especially you realize well there's sort of a god to all those terrible things um many in the land of an infernum's rest worship the titan infernum and the concept of everything must die so it may be reborn again and then die again and reborn again <laughs> so terrible things must happen to one for good things to come in the future. Hence why the culture is so inclined to do battle with each other, to die in battle, to slay others in battle so that they may then rise again as something greater, which in certain aspects is mildly similar to the rest of the world as the full cyclical nature of going to the other side, returning to this world, but in ways that are very different and perhaps more violent than one would expect. Hmm. You guys reiterate all that? Probably you get a basic of gist of it, Wake. Yeah. Okay. Basically, infertum just... Death and destruction, that's about it. And we have to go yeah. there at some point? I suppose so. Ugh, I'm not looking forward like... to it. I guess not it'll be fun. Time. We can we can compare notes on what is worse, this place or that place. 
true. I feel like we'll have more fun here. A lot more chaos. We well, know to watch out for chaos, but we can also have our own chaos, and it's not frowned upon as much. Yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> here, the, as much as you want to play with the land, the land will play back. It is a sort of a stagnant stalemate, per se. Uh, well, so far, what I would have noticed is the plants and trees will fight back. Sure. Yep. Where I come from, everyone fights back. Huh. Sometimes the way you fight is not always physically. So, to be fair, I don't think living in a land where the threat of being stabbed every five minutes is something that I would be interested in. Mm. If you're in the tribes, you're usually fine. If not... It's a bit more risky. Mm. Well, it sounds like when we ever do head there, we will have to get in with one of the tribes for a bit of <laughs> I, protection. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. That is a very bad idea. Fair enough. Well, we have options for what we should do. Should we try and head to the previous site of an enemy? And an enemy's village and maybe do some scouring see if that's here right we, we're not going to baobab yeah i mean is this close by yes that's what I think. Um, the tree said well that her family's in baobab yes i believe they said that the family is in baobab that's so far well that is my point i think if we check out the village we can get some clear insight if it was destroyed and abandoned, then it should be still destroyed and abandoned. No? That is true. I'm torn because I don't want Anemone... Despite how she can probably sometimes be annoying when she's happy-go-lucky, I'd rather happy-go-lucky than sad Anemone, you know? But I also don't think that we should go all the way to Baobab and then come all the way back to Myrtle to help with the Titan. So I'm, I'm torn on what we should do. Should we do our duty or should we help our friend? And I want to help my friend. But I feel like that's a lot of potentially wasted time. That is mm. true. I mean... I don't uh, have the ability to buy or anything, so... To be fair, we could take care of the problem with the Titan right away and then stick around for some time because I don't think we're going to find a boat off of here anytime soon. And even then... Oh. We'd that probably have to head to at least uh, Maple, or probably oh, that's even farther to get a boat out of here. So, hmm. you know, off the other side of the Ivy Coast, anywhere not near. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, um. Get my cross for hours. Also, the <laughs> longer we stay away from Giovanni, is the better, frankly. Oh. I can also tell him. And I put little note, SMS, uh, spell of oh, SMS. Oh yeah, you can talk to him. Mm. Uh, is that I can tell him that we have fulfilled the duties and that we will be traversing the land looking for a way back. A little white way lie. To talk to each other. Hello! Yeah. Hey, there we are. Look at that. Jai -ja. Jai -ja. Yeah. yeah, the stream didn't actually go down. It just went to the little Wowzers! Let me cast the seventh level summon from here. <laughs> just... Baby, come back. Baby, come back we're to me. Good. I think people just need to refresh. Yeah, we're back in. It, yeah. it, 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 it uh, goes back when yeah. it's on. I can see the little thing. I think we're, we're moving and we're talking, so. Right, we're DMless, everyone. Conversation must continue. Man, oh, I don't even God. know where the conversation left off. Um, we were talking, talking about, about the trees. The trees and how everything is connected. Yeah, and I, is I that was good before as... or after he died. I, I think it was before. Okay. <laughs> you can hear Caramel in the background just going. Rawr. Nope. Oh. Oh. Welcome back. Well, Angie. That was an entrance. What's up, champ? The anginess. Did you go yell at Kayla? I missed you. Ah, so it was uh, Kayla. I... 
I did it. Too bad. This is our time. Portals. Crashes internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This is our time. She's got to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. It's like when your mom would hit the console button, like to power it off. Yeah. To go to bed. And the rotor or rap, yeah. rotor. The, the router. Rotor. The rotor. The rotor. The little rotor phone. They just plug it. Absolutely. <laughs> You're off the phone with your friend. Terrible. Anyway. Uh, um, I'm about trees. We're talking about trees, trees, how they're all connected. Um, Trying to figure out where to go, what to do. I'll start making my way back into the encampment that we're at, by the way, after I finish my calisthenic exercise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get <a key. laughs> I think we're we went up. very far. I think we've all been standing roughly where we woke I was, up. Like, searching yeah. Yeah, you guys around. did and then the Ganesh just like went over like 20 yeah. feet away to this like exercise like, oh, oh. just doing push-ups yeah <laughs> 1001 1002 oh <laughs> 100 101 <laughs> anyway. um okay so we should go back into town and we should find an entrance i at here's the thing i asked very politely on where we could go an easier way to go find the roots and mother Myrtle got really offended and i don't know why maybe i'm just socially inept but she said that or they said that um, anemone would know, but anemone, anemone's kind of well, like. I know where there's a way to get in. Anemone but... steps forward. <laughs> oh god. Are you okay? No. Oh. <laughs> well, you don't have to speak if you can show us the way in. Well, I can speak. Uh, you sure? You sound in pain. <laughs> no, this is just the way I talk. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> you sound kind of like Pondo, I'll be honest. Yeah, I was about to say. No. Not like Pondo. You need some water? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, well if you have an idea where we can go to the then, then here you go. Yeah, let's go there. I will conjure so we want to go lights. right in the roots right away? To okay. Me. Do we need to find out more? Hold on. Should we find out more information or something about like, because we're just going down there and like getting rid of whatever's gnawing on there. I thought talking to the locals was a bad idea. Uh, I don't know these locals. That's not surprising, to be honest. That's fine. I mean, you get along with everyone, so, you know, you'll probably be able to figure out what they're talking about pretty quickly. You have a point there. I'm going to make uh a dancing light so i can combine the four lights into one glowing vaguely humanoid form of medium size so what i want to do is i want to take all four globules and i want to turn them into a very pudgy unicorn that will hang out with an anemone and it uh i uh it's conjuration up or concentration up to one minute, but like it's I'm a gonna trip, name so like, you Sparkle Butt. Yep. <laughs> Unicorn. Yeah. It's so fluffy. <laughs> it's so fluffy. <laughs> this is really off-putting. <laughs> It's really hard to, to work with. What's wrong, Michael? You don't, you don't really see the concepts of me acting like a excited little girl on certain elements. No, no, Zylo. I don't think that it does fit, actually. Yeah. It's, it's a very fitting. Really really I'm really an expert ghost. actor in every element of everything I ever do. Please never method act this role. Oh, it's so fluffy! Okay. <laughs> yep. uh, <clears throat> by the way, where the heck is Star? They, they, they said they were going to leave in the morning. Yeah, so it's, yep. it's probably don't see him around. around. I check my gold pouch. Because right. I don't trust anyone. Make an intelligence check. Racially motivated. <laughs> Are you smart enough to know how many <laughs> coins you had in there before yep. you... <laughs> yeah. Them? Everything seems to be in place. Hell yeah. Seems to be... Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
You don't need to go changing any values on your character sheet if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, I think he said he was going to leave early in the morning. I think Lord he'll knows see where the next he's Hmm. Well, if we're unsure if we should head now. straight into the roots or not, we can always go talk with Mother Myrtle again. Maybe she has more information for us now that we've had a chance to sleep. I'm not sure. I, I am not against it, but I feel like we'd have to have a set of questions to go in to get asked first. That question is. She's an all knowing that... tree. She would have known already. Yeah. Also, she doesn't really answer things that aren't questions asked directly to her. It's sort of like the rule of thumb. They won't tell you more than you ask for. You get a question with a question. So, no, well, no. You just sort of get the only answer pertaining to the question, I guess. Whether that brings up more questions is based on the answer. Regardless. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not waiting to think of questions like that, so if that's something you want to do, then by all means. Otherwise, I suppose if you think that that's too much, then I'm more than happy to just head down the roots and take care of these creatures. Just get rid of them. Likewise. Yeah. Beat them up. Yeah. Faster. Yeah. Uh, something tells me like we should we try and at least try should we try and find out what type of monsters do we know what we're going into or do we just like full yeah. send and just I don't think we need to worry about that kind of thing I it feel like Myrtle would have told nature us creatures. but again we didn't ask her straight up being like what are these creatures she was like something's gnawing at my roots and we were like okay well one thing we're probably going to have to make sure is to not engulf the tree into flames I look at Milo. So keep the fire down. <laughs> Everyone just stares at Milo. <laughs> I wasn't planning on setting the tree aflame. It's just a it's just a thought that I would it say out loud. It was an accident, okay? I don't plan on it anymore. Just be careful with the fire down there. That's all I'm gonna ask. I'll keep my fire down if you guys keep your fire down. I don't think a little bit of firebolt was enough to light a tree aflame. I got more than just fireballs, okay? Okay. Okay! It don't always work, but... Look, I just fine. don't want to get arrested in this land. That's all I'm asking. I'm gonna pick my spells for today. For fighting. <sighs> so, you all decide to... follow an enemy to where the roots may lie? Yeah. Sure thing. Let's see. On the way there, can I pull Iggy aside as well? Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> First off, Iggy, I'd like to apologize. I did not mean to get angry with you yesterday. It just... Things can go south very quickly. And frankly, I'd like to avoid killing any of the locals. Especially under the guise of the Mother Tree. Um, right. You were gonna kill someone? For the questions I asked? For any questions I'll give? Uh, well, more so, I was afraid that giving them too much information would lead to a confrontation. Uh, so people here aren't always in your best interest. And they aren't always... Uh, they are very mischievous, I think is the best way to put it. Especially on this side of the island. Um, but it is okay. We will be fine. Um, I just wish to not draw too much attention, if you will. Well, I mean, that, that, that's something we can very easily do. I'm not looking to bring attention to us either. I, mm. I have one other thing to ask you, if, if you will. Okay, uh, I'm all ears. Something about this place, it worries me. Um, mm. The demeanor of the people in the city. They were bizarre, no? Mm. Is it? Yeah. And uh, the situation regarding Anemone's family is also concerning. I fear there is a some kind of extra illusionary magic of some form going on here. Or some kind of uh, something similar to maybe what happened to you. And I fear that Anemone might be at the center of it, based on everything uh, considering. I would ask, if possible, to have you uh, 
I don't think any of us are capable of protecting you in the same way that you could. So, I will do my best to keep things, at least uh, arcane-wise, under control. But physically, I will not be able to help as much. So I'm asking for your support here. Oh, well, I mean, uh, I just assumed that would be what I'd be planning to do anyway, so... I... No, I, I think what I'm saying is, at least regards to me, if it comes down to it, I think she is more important to protect at the current moment. Okay? There's something fishy. Phrasing that question, Milo. I think there's something fishy going on, and I think it is related to the Titan, and the last thing we need is the Titan to sink back to the other side, similar to what nearly happened with Fulminox. So. Right. But, all that I being just... said, I, I think your, your concerns are noted, but mm. at least from what we know of this place, all the trees are in place to help prevent the Titan from falling into place. There are many trees, multiple trees, in fact. And so, as we figure out what's happening here, there have been other people who've come before us who have made sure that these trees are in place. It's not like all of them, all of a sudden right now, are going to be in dire need of help. And so, Correct. ultimately, first and foremost, our mission is, yes, to do what we need to do and to give our lives up for the mission if need be. Mm -hmm. But I'm also not interested in recklessly losing someone, especially yourself. And while I understand your concerns for Nimi are important, your life is just as valuable as hers. I think I understand what you are saying. I think my point is... It is easy to say that one's life is valuable in comparison to another. I don't think that I share the same value. I am better at destroying things than I am at creating them. And this land does not like the destruction of things. That's so, fair. whether on this mission down into the roots, I mean, something tells me we'll be likely looking at other roots, considering the state of the island. I lived here my entire life. Well, not really, but I lived here for a good chunk of my life. The trees have never really been in such dire straits, as far as I remember. Of course, there have been incidents here and there, but to have all of them struggling so it is concerning. That is all my point. And this mysterious Capricorn or thing that is interacted worries me. Because if something is gnawing at the roots, I think they may be connected. That is all my point. Okay? Again, understood. I hear you loud and clear, Milo. Thank you. And I appreciate your honesty about how you feel about the value of your own life. Just know that, as Titans Watch, I have utmost loyalty <laughs> to you and everyone else here. And that loyalty will not permit me to think of you any less. So, just know I have your back. I appreciate that. And I will have yours as well. Thank you. Don't get me wrong, I do not hope to die. Good. I just know that this land is dangerous. And there are some Indeed. that will need it more than I. <sighs> and I just kind of give him a little tap on the back and a little smile. Because we shall probably catch up with the group. If we don't want to get lost here. I'll heartily pat your back back. Nice firm kind of like a slight yeah. cracking of back yeah, <laughs> my ribs. The whole spine shatters. <laughs> when did... <laughs> Trust me, Milo, we'll be in good company. At that moment you can see what appears to be dozens of people. People that seem to be half humanoid, half rabbit. Leaping around and seeming to scour the fields of the current area and just picking things out of the ground, some eating them, some stuffing them into various pouches and bags. But there's dozens of these rabbit folk littered about. How big are they? 
like probably cupcake? averaging of about five foot high a little shorter than the average of your group but still it's pretty tall though for full a size rabbit. humanoids hmm. that's strange he died again hmm? he died he's right there it's frozen for me okay thank oh. goodness it's just you no oh. no he's alive <laughs> he's alive he's alive and well for the moment <laughs> unfortunately oh it's you but <laughs> I, 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 clicked on, I clicked on you and it, it fixed it it's just oh, okay. you it's I'll just it. me i'll take it it's the difficulties happen and uh, i'll accept this one <laughs> how yeah. far away are the rabbit people by the way 100 feet a little less a little more just okay flooding the area hmm Seems so like it came from somewhere in them, and they're immediately searching for food. So does this happen normally around here, or...? Well, I've never seen it before. Well, it's been a few Just... years probably since you've been here, right? Yeah, I guess so. Things don't just change in the Feywild. Not in that sense. They change. They're constantly changing, but it's like a... I don't know. It's not as an abrupt change. This is like sus, you know? Like, people do a whole bunch of weird stuff, but like, I don't know. I mean, aren't you all part of nature in a sense? I feel like something like this would be normal ish. Not normal for me, but maybe for here. Well, I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff that happens that is normal, but like, mm. this. I don't know. Well, if it seems unusual, we can go check it out. I don't mind. Start walking toward it. I mean, if um, we want, I can do some bit of spying from a distance as well. I don't think we need to spy on people just grabbing food. I would just be more interested in what they are grabbing. Mm -hmm. And grabbing things randomly from the ground is a bit, uh... a dangerous job here. Can I That's... tell what they're doing? If it's frantic? If it's... I'll give you a perception check. Ooh. Perception. Ooh. Yeah, you notice some, um, at least a dozen of them came from the same area, the same hole in the ground, and they're immediately just frantically, you know, picking at the ground, looking for things. Some are stuffing, you know, various bits of just random herbs and weeds into their faces. Others are stuffing them into various pouches they may contain. Is it something like they just came out of hibernation type thing? Or like they were like driven out of there? Like can I touch the ground? Is the ground like rumbling or something or disturbed or anything? Seems like everything is just happening with the rise of the sun. Oh. Morning Maybe it routine. is normal. I don't know. I don't know. I don't live here. Is it normal? <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell. Might just I mean, be like the morning, but like they also, I don't know. They, hmm. Well, I have lived in this island for my entire, uh, most of my life. I mm -hmm. don't think I spent too much time on the side of the island. So what is normal mm -hmm. and what is not normal. Again, I'm Elvish. So we have some very, uh, most would consider interesting You're very far traditions. west mm. compared to like the center of Agarica or um, the east where it's mm. like more heavily populated this, yeah I guess you could call this more of the Hul area of Agarica the Hor area? what did you just say? rural rural oh rural rural it's a hard word to do in a French accent alright yeah I feel that I feel that <laughs> It's hard to do in an English accent. Yeah, it's speaking the normal right, uh, correct word, is it? Um, I don't know. This whole place is just strange. Are you calling us strange then, by proxy? It's <sighs> not what I meant. I'm that just is saying. What you're saying. I'm just saying you have different ways of doing things that I'm not used to. That is the definition of thinking something is strange. 
Uh, okay, then fine. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, this way. <laughs> oh, I guess it's this way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not used to all these different creatures. I... Just... No, that is that a bad thing? thing. Well, where I'm from, <laughs> you don't really see a lot of different races running around. Also don't, you also you also don't get the sun on you when it's not boiling. It's not many trees or greenery or anything like that. It's a lot to Yo, take in. What what uh oh. what season was this area again? Um the area you're in is a mildly fall season, you would okay. consider it as. I don't know. It's not even as hot as it could be. I don't know. Oh, I'm just trying to God. take it all in. Oh, that's just fair. It's just different. Mm -hmm. Not a bad I mean, different, I... but it's just something to look at and try and figure out. Well, don't gawk. It's rude. I feel like is that the saying a lot with most people that have made fun of my accent up to this point? We're your friends! We're allowed to tease you! We don't actually m are making fun of you, but if we were like, Oh my god, your accent is so weird! Like, then that's mean. I mean, the same can be said with how you guys were with Star. It's no difference. You were weirder with Star. That's because of history. Oh, yes. Well, I thought he was cool. To be honest, I wasn't exactly sure how to feel about him. He's just lucky he's able to walk away freely. To be honest, something tells me he probably would not live long here anyways. It's kind of a hard place to thrive, if you will. If you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, at least I'm with people that know this place somewhat. Hmm. I mean, once we get to my eastward, I'll have a much better understanding, but yeah. if we can get a little bit closer, I'd like to try something. I can okay. maybe get a glimpse into what the they're picking. Yes, I was the bunnies. Why do we care about the bunnies? They're just doing their thing. Well, they're coming out of a hole, no? Yeah, they're home. Maybe they can connect bunnies to the roots. Bunnies live in homes, holes. Anemone, is that one of those holes that may lead to one of the roots? I think so. There you go. Well... But again, it seems like okay, our best well, we is to go up to them. House. Yeah, guys, let's just walk into someone else's house. Hey, we're here. Get out of our way. Well, if it's a root, then it's not really their house. It's technically Mother Myrtle's. And also, we've done that before. <laughs> With who? Who do you think? To be fair, when we arrived in Fulminox, the first thing we did was assault the guards. <laughs> we tried to save a man. We died I'm anyways. Just, I'm just gonna walk over to one of the rabbits. <laughs> just completely ignoring <laughs> the conversation. The red is boiling up oh. in the or in How can I help you? Skin. <laughs> well, we're looking to see if we can get to Mother Myrtle's roots by chance. I could possibly take you there. I lean over to Milo. He's gonna die. Okay, so is it through yeah. the holes in the ground, or is there an alternate route, or what's... No, there's many, many roots, but... Perhaps you and I, we can play a game first. Yeah, Rex, play play the game. Yeah, do it. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, you're about to sure. learn firsthand why you should not play the games of this land. Oh, I'm about to learn real this. quick, aren't I? <laughs> you watch what? Take lessons. <laughs> okay, I'll just sit here and eat my chips. I summon a, a mirror image, a mirror image, a minor illusion of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> You stuff the imaginary popcorn into your mouth frivolously. You know? <laughs> I just like look back, like, sure, let's play a game. So, would you consider yourself a, a gambler? More of a drinker. Ah, I like Same. it. Well, there are many drinks to be had, but first, we must play Fireball. Hey, Milo, you might be good at this one. What was that? <laughs> oh, please invite all of your friends you may wish, but 
We're good. Fireball is the game to play. Hey. Not an play. illusion of a tiny fireball explosion. <laughs> if you win, I'll show you exactly where you need to go. No rack. But if you lose, you owe 10 gold pieces to me and my people. All right, whatever. How close are we? Oh. How close oh. would you like to be? Uh, I mean, I assume we're probably like 30 feet away from him. Sure. I'll allow that. So is uh, this 10 gold for you and your people, or is it 10 gold per you and your people? Well, let us see how the game goes. What is, what's the game? I'm curious. I said the game is called Fireball. Yeah, yeah, what does oh. the Fireball game entail? You think this one would know how to play games in these lands? Well, the game is we roll dice. Eight of them. Roll and me. whoever of us gets the highest result wins the game. Best two out of three for you, a new player. Sure. Good. Shall we begin? <sighs> okay. Was it 8d6 or 6d6? 8d6. I will let you eight, roll eight your D6? dice first. Oh, you said 8d6? That's correct. Can I, just while this is happening, I would like to keep an eye out for any arcane happenings. <laughs> Foolery? Okay. Confoolery? Tomfoolery, uh, yes. Tomfoolery? It's not very high, but I have a passive perception of 15 as well, so. Okay. If any sleight of hand fails, I want to. I'm looking for any spell casts, primarily. Okay. So you said Arcana? Yep, Arcana for you. And um, we got the passive perception of you of 15. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I guess I'll. Do I wait for them to you roll, or should I roll? Ahead. You. He was told to, for you to roll first. So 8d6. Ah, <clears throat> a Not respectful bad. result, but we will see what I am able to commence. Hmm. Four, three, five, three, one, six, six, three. That would be a thirty-one. Higher than your result. So by five. I did offer you a best two out of three. <sighs> continues the game. Sure. Very well. Make whatever he is happening happen. Your roll. And once again, he asks you to roll your 8d6 in this game of Fireball. Uh, I have rolled. What is this? Good score. Five, six, six, five. A four, three, two, one, one. A thirty one. I roll. A match. We will have to roll again. What? I hate gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a fun game for you, eh? I'd rather be drinking. Mm. What have you rolled? A five, a six, six, four, four, two, one, one. Not the best, huh? It is technically above average. <laughs> Averages means nothing in the game of chance. No, it is everything it means, actually. Basic mathematics. And what have I? A six? Four, four, four. Good number so far, but. Three, three, one. Oh no. It is matched up, even odds. Odd. Well, best two out of three. You have the chance to win everything now. All you need to do is beat my roll. Double or nothing. No. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> we would decide that once he uh, succeeds. What or could fails. they possibly double up offering? I'm just trying to. I'm trying to 
Make him eat his words. Fuck oh, enough. I see some sixes, but a lot of low numbers. Low numbers. Let's see I what I can do. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Five, 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 four, four. Uh, one, one, two, two. Yes, it seems I have 31. Well, then. It appears I have won the game. Mm. Pay up. He holds out his hand. <laughs> I, flick him, I flick him 10 gold coins. <laughs> the chips had to get out of Yeah, just good. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I. We heard earlier uh, double or nothing, but uh, triple or nothing? Hmm? What could you possibly offer up that is triple of giving us to the roots? Do you want to get there or not? We could get there and then see if some of their men would help us in the fight. If there is one. I like whisper this to my own. No, I mean, it's possible. Y'all really about to make me gamble again. But I'm, I'm thinking you probably should not, to be honest with you. The odds were never ever in your favor, frankly. Oh, I know that. You see these hands? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is up to you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Why not? <laughs> why not? So, you well? yeah. 30 gold. Okay. So just one more roll to decide. I don't think they took Or is it two out of three? That's what I think, I think. What would you prefer? Let's just do one and get it over with. One roll. Hey. <gasps> roll these. Roll these. About to lose all my money. That's a Milo roll right oh. there. Oh. Scotty rolls, Scotty rolls. <laughs> well, I will uh, roll again. I don't see as much of a point. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. One. Rip Bozo. Fireball. <laughs> One. What, is it two, tequila? Two, three, three. Um. Best um, two out of three. Nope, I already said one, and you agreed. I did. It's the way of the Fey Wild. You made a deal. You gotta stick to it. Could the rest of you, aside from um, Mitch, make a uh, perception roll? Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, when I need it the most. Hey, 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 hey. We are blind. We're actually, we're just in awe that somehow he won that round. <laughs> My passive perception is higher. Indeed, with your passive perception, you realize he rolled nine dice, not eight. Oh, and he still lost. Oh, he did! Oh, yeah! Cheater! Oh! I'm just gonna, I'm gonna walk up. Yeah. I mean, um, Mitch still won. On, Rex is still on the last two, matchup. yeah, I didn't even notice. I'm just going to walk up and I'm just going to like double check the dice and look at it and be like, yeah, I'm going to look at him and go. He goes to scoop Ooh. them up immediately. That's fine. I'm not like going to comment on it. I'm just more of like being like a, you cheated and you still lost. What Yikes, could you possibly dude. mean? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just like, it's, I'm giving that like yeah. vibe of like. Okay. Oh, yikes, dude. <sighs> So you're gonna take us to where we need to go then? A triple or nothing. I, 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 once again. So you made a deal. Nine times the amount of money. Twenty. That means eighteen hundred gold. We don't have that kind of money. So you lost, and then you can take us to where we need to go because that was the deal that you made. Is that what you wish, Mister? Dragonborn. And he holds out a hand to you. 
I would not. Uh, a bad idea. I just want the information. <sighs> fine, 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 fine. All right. So you want to find a way into the? It's right over there, like two hundred feet away. Cool. You can see everyone coming and going from there. So, are we going to have any problem when we go in there? And is there specific directions or tunnels that we should take? Because I'm assuming there's a lot... As soon as we get in there, there's going to be quite a few tunnels. Just be polite to my family as you enter. Okay. Some of them are older and not able to resist as much as I am. Okay. Should we keep sure. left, right? Or should we just, like, follow the most, like, traveled path? Kind of thing. The most to get down. path can get you deeper and deeper and deeper. If that is what you wish. Yeah, we want to get to the roots of Myrtle. If that is your request, so it is granted. Cool. Whole 200 feet. Travel. It is right there. You don't need to take notes. Yeah, the hole was. We already knew the hole was the entrance. We already know. Yeah. Well, I'm getting. I'm writing down the other information. Like this is a bad deal overall. Yeah, I think you mostly just lost ten gold. <laughs> well, let's just get Pat, Pat, Pat Rex on the back, <laughs> and now you understand, friend. Still got my information. Not to say. By the way, do you have it's a like... name by chance? Uh, my friends, they call me Charm. Charm. I'll keep that in mind. You are not my friend. It's fine. Don't have to well, be. What the heck are we supposed to call you? Don't call me at all. I'm just whispering to my <sighs> He's so angsty. It's fine. He's such all right. a bad boy. 200 feet. <laughs> if by bad you no. mean stupid, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me at all. <laughs> Making our way to the hole. Yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah. Nice walk. Now that he's pointed it out, it seems like a very obvious entrance. You see separate rabbit folk coming and going uh, from this, what seems to be a tunnel into the ground. And uh, it can only lead to beneath the roots of Mother Murder. <clears throat> cool. That's so. Follow the path. Follow most the rabbits. Traveled. Is the tunnel lit? Or is it dark? Is I would hope so. It is very dark no. outside. Awesome, great. <laughs> you see as you uh, approach the, the mouth of the tunnel, although the mouth may be wide, it, it has many rabbit folk inside where there had been maybe 50 to 60 scattered across the ground. There is still a hundred or more inside of this tunnel. Some cuddled together in the corners. Others trying to find some semblance of living in here. It does not seem like a a fine place to be living, but many, many of them are indeed here within the roots of Mother Myrtle. Mm -hmm. Hello. Not Bonjour. the funnest looking of settings. Konnichiwa. Namaste. Excuse me. I'm just passing through to get to the roots. Pardon us. Excuse us. Why are you going through here? We have a Charm said we could. I We're gonna Charm. make this livable again. Uh, make Mother Myrtle livable again. M M L A. Is that is that the presidential mission of huh? Donald Trunk? <laughs> Pain. The door. Now. There's the door, bitch. <laughs> What'd you say, Alexander? It is through there. Um, okay. You wish to go there by yourself? That's the that, plan. Yeah. No, We're no, 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 no. Z what? Do we have to? The dangers. The vines. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna get. Yeah, we met him. No, 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 no. It's too bad. Yes, too yes, 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 yes. I step up. I say, I kind of like flex posing. Like, do you think 
It's someone like me. Is not capable of being in here. I'm protecting myself on my own. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> he just goes up there and just kind of he like he still... thinks I can't protect. Hide. <laughs> 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 Going down them signs. <laughs> Chunks protein powder. <laughs> He's shaking the protein powder. <laughs> Potion of protein. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you wish to go down there? Yes. Yep. Is it right to follow you home? Nah. Nah. Well, if they do, nah, we'll kill ourselves them. out. Something tells me the vines are going to be terrified of us. We'll just get them. I mean, we have the fires to keep them at bay. But. Hmm. I start conjuring a firebolt. Yeah, I was going to say, all three of us conjure our different fire spells for like a second. <laughs> yeah, can each make a perception and I'm just sitting there flexing. That That's all I got. All of you can make a perception check at that point. Oh. Eh. Rex and Wick. So yeah, everyone but uh, but Ignatius, you see, <coughs> there's almost a smoky atmosphere about this cavern. At the edge of the tunnels, there seems to be fires lit, where smoke is going not only out of the cavern towards the open sunlight, but Buddy. deeper into it. Reminds me of home. Yeah, it's. It's very uncomfortable for those who aren't used to this amount of smoke. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, like I cough like a four <laughs> just like old. stuffing it in and spewing it out of my nose. Yeah. <laughs> just literally just yeah, you're fine. looking like an actual dragon <laughs> with the smoke coming out. Wick just like so this is how we keep the ivy at bay. Well, if you let us it's through, hot, hot, we hot, may hot, not guys. have to do this anymore. True. It is our job to clean up the mess. Yep. Also, <laughs> we may make more fire or explosions or stuff. So I would stay clear. Keep the children away. Maybe what did I say go about to the, the fires? What? <laughs> Keep huh? them to a minimum. No, I know, Can but I'm just saying. Can we make a nature track at this point? There might be bat loud booms, but not a lot of fire. What am I, what are we doing? Nature. Nature. Yeah, Nature. Forget that one. <laughs> Nature. Mm. What the ah, hell? Yes, yes, yes. Man. Hey, no. Iggy Man. is in a strange land. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy's this like, is nothing like his rock home. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is a tree? Yeah, so I've never Nature's... seen a tree in my life. Smoke is Where all the rocks? It's here, it's there. It doesn't hurt nothing. But the rest of you kind of get the feeling might not be the best in a situation where you're trying to nurture the the living of a certain plant up above. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're in a bit of a predicament. predicament. Um, we can't use fire because we can't cause more smoke because it will hurt Myrtle, but the vines only take to fire damage. So like... They also take two damage. Yeah, but like not as well as fire. Fire is like easy. Well, part time swatches are always easy. I think we can handle it fine. And I've got my own ideas. Yeah, I have things that I think might work as well. Well, good luck to all of you. You. Die less than oh, well, average and have a good time. You have force with your cannon. I'm gonna blast it away. <laughs> <laughs> the kicking a saloon door is just gonna come back at me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'll just. I guess I'll just support. I, I don't know. I don't really have anything other than fire. We'll figure it out. But you should still like I don't know. Keep the children away just in case because we don't want we don't want to cause any casualties. We are not just sending any of our children down there. Cool. It's a bad plan. Kids are very curious though, so just like 
And kids Oops. are also very stupid. <gasps> yeah. I like you. What's your name? My name is Sunflower. I like Sunflower. <laughs> I'm literally writing that. Very important note. I like yeah. Sunflower. I sunflower. like this guy's you good. I like Sunflower Bunny. That's sunflower like. have accent. So I know I'll be fine, but what about you guys? What do you mean? Uh, the smoke. I don't want you guys suffocating <laughs> on me. I've faced worse before where I'm from. I'm fine. I take one of my skirts and all. Um, or fabrics and all. Get like a mask. Or something. A so I guess I'll die. Do you want one? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. <clears throat> Go. And you wrap this this piece of cloth around your face. It seems to be this this like mix between leopard print and paisley. <laughs> That's really one of my favorites. Uh, how do I look? It's Amazing. Like sure he does. Go, go with the rest of this. It's temporary. It's fair. Fashion is subjective. Looks at the priest. Looks at the dragonborn priest. <laughs> yes, completely like clad in scattered black robes. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, it's gonna move on. It's gonna yeah, never do it. The less good. likely you guys will Best die of suffocation. All of you. Thanks. Excuse me. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Let me walk we down. Way deeper into the tunnels. tunnels. Hooray! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tunnels. You begin to see roots kind of creeping in the sides of the walls, some wrapping around the circumference of the tunnels of which you're in, others jutting out, creating many scattering small roots, not quite able to reach any sort of nutrients or nutrition. Mm. As you venture deeper into the tunnel, the roots begin to multiply in number and advance as you can see most of the tunnel walls are now made of this woody root material before you hmm so what's everyone's plan here not part uh, of the tree yeah as we're walking i'd like to be looking out for like any kind of damage to the roots at all like uh, any scarring or things look like maybe took a chunk out of it or something. I'm gonna put my gla my goggles on. And Emily should still have my unicorn, so <clears throat> they can still see. I don't know who doesn't have dark vision. It's just my me. I have dark vision, right? But I I can see what's pretty much close within me though. So I'm just feeling along inside the wall, probably touching all the. I mean, if a is yeah, next was... to us with the ball yeah. of light. With and it's a bigger one, so I think it. But makes... thirty foot range. Yeah, you said it was like. Whichever form size. you choose, each light sheds dim light in a ten foot radius. I could always increase it if we need to. I mean, I assume in terms of our walking order. all four, though, it would be like bright, but it would be it would only be ten feet, but it'd be like. You can see. Yeah, you're able to see pretty clearly within 10, 15 feet of yourselves. Yeah, and then I can see up to sixty feet. So, you can see up to 120 if need be. Continue forward. The walls, they're winding. They're scattered. Not quite any large <clears throat> rooms for you to see completely from one end to the other, but many small tunnels mm. that rapidly break from one end to the other. Interesting. I'm going to firebolt anything that comes close to us. Anything that, any vines that, like, reach out to us or impede our walking before long you realize vines are beginning to impede you some small just tiny little binds of ivy are scattering through others are wrapping around the walls and not posing much threat to you but you can see as you advance there's 
eventually more vine than earth mm. scattered through the corners of these tunnels. And you can see just many leaves and vines reaching all around you at this point. Now these vines expand and like contract, right? Like they can go more, they can go back. At the moment they seem to be staying in place. I was curious if I could light a candle and bring it kind of close to one to see if it'll move backwards away from the fire. Okay. I'm just, I'm just curious. <laughs> Make a nature check. <clears throat> oh. It's devil Again. snare. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking mentally. I'm like, oh, it might be like that. <laughs> I swear one of these things is based on Devil Snare. Or one of the other. 15! Okay, yeah, you you hold a fire towards one. It immediately recoils, trying to stay away from the fire. You can tell that where smoke has been permeating, these vines seem to have avoided. Um, however, where smoke has permeated, the roots seem to have struggled as well they've dried out yeah he's taking damage from the smoke began to struggle not only that but in these areas where the vines thrive the roots have also begun to struggle mm. as they are constricted and almost completely eclipsed by the amount of ivy that is gathered around them is it also really dry in here it's beginning like, to get I, I think it would make sense because of smoke. As you advance. Yeah. But closer to where the rabbit folk have had their fires going, it is very dry and crispy in the air. Okay. Well, at least my theory was somewhat correct. Crispy. Um, I think that we should find the source of these vines and... I agree. Seems to be yeah. a logical place. I don't know if they're sentient, so I'm just gonna. Well, no. I'm sure if we keep watching them recoil, we could probably follow and see if it leads back to any origin of the location. Yeah. Smart. I'm just gonna keep like firebolts. You can only go so far. Get away. Shoot me with my little candle. <laughs> so I might have a candle. Fires. What do I have? Ready to go. <gasps> Hey, Zylo. Yes? I have a torch. I have a torch. I'll light a torch instead. It's bigger. On one of these dry pieces of root, can I take out something that I've had in my pack for a very long time I'm so now? excited. Yes, you may. I'm going to pull out a little... It's going to shake the tree. ...little, <laughs> uh, like, like potion-sized bottle of water that I've had for... I, I, God knows how long at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a little bit of it, and I'm going to pour just a little bit on one of the roots that's dried out. Okay. Is it just water you're adding to these? It's labeled a bottle of Fulminox water. Ah, interesting. When did you get that? You pour it onto the roots, and you don't seem to see any immediate results. The roots seem to glisten. You know, seem to begin retaining the water which you've poured onto it. But you see no immediate result. But I will check on it on the way back. What you doing? Just a bit of an experiment, that's all. Is that experiment going to kill us? Well, this is water, so I don't think so. Why do you have it in a vial and not a water skin? Mm, special water. Better not be holy. It is not holy water. I think it's Why probably the exact burn? opposite. You know, I, I think you'd be not adverse to holy water. He just doesn't want me to use holy water in a weird way. Oh. It is a... Uh, it is it's holy water you should have used on the tiefling. They're from the hells, right? Maybe they don't like it. Well, I... Okay, Can so I, I got... Mm hmm Anyway. I pick, picked up this bottle of water, though, in the... the uh, inside Fulminox. 
I figured it was interesting. And maybe I would be able to use it for something later on down the line. I think this water has a bit of different properties to average water. It is sort of charged in a way. It might have some uh, renewing, uh, revivifying effects. But isn't water a conductor of electricity? Wouldn't that hurt the tree? Well, most Here. things are kind of a conductor of electricity. That's like water. Yes. But water is necessary yeah. for trees regardless. Okay. I mean, it has not done anything yet, so... I don't have a lot of it, so I can't really use it on one little root here. You so. could have put it in someone's drink and made them have spicy water. That seems like less of a valuable thing than trying to revive the tree. But it could have made them, like, poop their pants or something. That would have been funny. Yeah, for about five minutes. No. <laughs> as long as they're pooping. Keep walking. Okay, okay. <laughs> as you going to look at Rex. <laughs> see that the paths before you will begin to narrow. Several paths appear, but most of them are like three feet or less in diameter. And you may have to crawl or squeeze through to make your way through. Ah, mm. the tall people about to have a lot of problems. Okay. All right, who's honey? Winnie the Poohing it. Well, I do have a candle. <laughs> I have a torch. Yeah, but that might be too to... big and a narrow. I'll go last then. I'm just gonna cast reduce on myself. <laughs> yeah, well, good for you. Tall. I don't have that. And you just shrink my to like <laughs> three, half three the size? and a half feet tall. I feel like you can get through any of these oh, gaps pretty you. easy. I'm Milo. Can I'm you? Milo. No, it is me. I, I cast the fireball. <laughs> it is me. I cast the fireball. The coco, the popo. The coco. Exactly. This is Milo, but it's like 70 years ago. Yeah. Happy. <laughs> <Uppy. laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. you, you look at the holes before you feel like you can fit through them pretty easy. I can fit. No problem. I'll go last because I have the torch, though, because I don't want to burn anybody. All right. All right, cool. I can squeeze myself in through the hole. I'll go in first since I have the dark vision. Yeah, you, you pop your way through. As you get to the other side, you see that the vines that were scattered across the walls are almost completely eclipsing the floor of this area, where bits of what appear to be greater roots poke out. It seems that every bit of it has vines covering not only the floor, but the walls, part of the ceiling. It's, it's dense down here. There's a lot. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I think we should use the torch to get to those the vines. Hex, the the torch, the wick, the torch. You can. <laughs> Me. As you find yourself alone at the other side of Use this the narrow touch. corridor, you you see many of the vines begin to shift and crawl over each other. I'm at the back, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be following in, like, right after you. <laughs> just give me a moment! This is, this is a tight squeeze! My, it'd be me and an enemy probably closest to Milo, then, because I assume an enemy's been sticking pretty close to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a moment, but Rex, you're able to squeeze through. It's not pleasant, but... You fit. No. I wouldn't imagine it being pleasant. Do you have any claustrophobia? <laughs> well, panic now, but... Or for any future peace. I don't. <laughs> then you manage to make it to the other side. You see Milo. Just barely. Hey, guys. Looking for a squirt somewhere, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you, as you all seem to return through here, Wick, you're the last one through, but Vines are encompassing just about everything you see. Glorious. Oh, gosh. Oh. Um. I'll just keep the 
torch like away from her feet or like um the vines away from her feet using the torch they seem to slowly avoid the fire slowly creeping away as you hold it before them yeah that's right anyway milo mm-hmm you're not relying on fire to keep anything at bay here. You simply have the sight that you need. Can you roll okay. me a constitution saving throw? Sure. <laughs> Would it be with advantage? Because I'm help I'm doing the torch. No, for it wouldn't be with advantage. <laughs> well, I'm doing the torch for everybody. Yeah, sorry. He actually takes 1d4 points of poison damage as ah! vines start to creep across his ankle. Yikes. Ah. Uh. So you take four lovely points of poison damage oh. as a rash begins to spread across oh. your ankle. Oh, firebolt. Stupid vines. <laughs> fire, fire I firebolt. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I firebolt his feet. Make the roll. Don't miss. <laughs> Mrs. immediately Please burns his feet. don't hit me. What's your yeah. issue? 11? Do I How many Milo? You dealt 19 points of damage? Why is it so high? They roll. Why max? Is it? Jeez, you, you rolled, you rolled, you rolled, rolled so near well. max. <laughs> you rolled one point oh, shy my. of max damage at level 6. Uh. Ooh. So, the vine engulfs into flame dissipates completely destroyed milo you take nine points of fire damage <laughs> yeah you've been poisoned and burned how does that <laughs> it's not pleasant um but it yeah. got the job done the vine's gone ah! so where are the hairs upon your leg well i was wearing pants so somehow they got through okay cool <laughs> Your pants are completely untouched by flame, but your your legs still yeah. feel like they feel a little magic pants. Yeah, yeah, magic pants. It's oh. actually an illusion of pants. <laughs> You're naked. <laughs> <laughs> Just got shorts on, like a booty shorts on. That's the fan art I wasn't ready to see. Oh <laughs> my! With the booty shorts. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, this is a little tiny booty. Got a skinny legend booty. Like the size of an elf on the ship. Oh my gosh. Actually, I, I casted was... it. I'm three foot one. I'm sorry, Milo. I'm sorry. It is okay. I'm not dead. Maybe you should be bigger. I don't know if that helps you not get hit as much. Or maybe I should be less accurate. To be honest, I don't think that was the issue. It is more so that the vine was wrapped on my leg, and then the vine lit on fire around my leg. Sounds like Milo's going through puberty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the consistent voice cracks. It's hard for me to give this voice. Uh, <laughs> Milo, might it be best if you put the first? Here, how about I, I take the lead, and I can see what we can find. You can can't see. see. <laughs> Iggy. Yeah, I don't have to see. Just pick me up, Iggy. I'll sit yes, on your shoulder. Yes, you do. You know, run us right into danger. I'll I take pick, the lead. I pick up Tiny Milo. Milo. The second I do, you just suddenly hear an enemy going, hey, that's my pinky that I find. <laughs> that's my Wick, pinky that can you make a constitution saving throw? Can I make one? No, I'm asking Wick. Oh, Wick. Are you... Oh, yikes. What is with these natural 20s that aren't so as you all, you know, now that all of you are emerged from the narrow tunnels, we see the embers scald off of Milo. There is a larger vine. A larger vine that begins to wrap around Wick. And... Uh -huh. Wick, you begin to take damage. Woo. Yay. Yay. As this massive vine coils around you, you take a lot. No, oh, I don't like that. I've seen too many shows to see where this is going. 60 points of piercing damage. Uh, it is 66 <laughs> points of 
damage. Oh, it took man. 18 points of poison damage. Jesus. Yeah, it As this massive bad. vine begins oh. to wrap around you and <clears throat> squeeze you, constrict you, and bring you to a dangerous point. Well, hey, at least you don't, you're not suffocating from smoke. Uh, uh, <laughs> Gonna burn uh, it with the torch. Uh, you stupid! Oh no! And you all That's see as good. vines begin to continue to creep towards you. Lovely. More have arrived. Good. More similar to the one which has constricted Wick. More, which <clears> has <throat> lashed at Milo. Okay. My constraint. It was a sneak attack. Check you took okay. was very much inclusive. Oh. Um. <laughs> I want to burn it. All right. Let's torch. get some initiative rolls from everyone. Okay. Yay. Vines begin to swarm around all of you. Hooray. Let us the initiative. Hello. <laughs> Dang it. Three. I don't worry, buddy. I'm with you. I didn't even click yeah, on myself. I forgot. Plus yeah, did, dexterity is pretty slow for me. I thought I clicked on myself. Why is it that? I did. I think Xylo needs to show it. Oh. Might be on me. Wait, let me try it's it. mostly my dexterity. I mean, it's not much better. Modifier to dex. <laughs> do, uh, do we need to do it? Now, now it's. You know what? Everyone's. Uh, everyone beside you know, a couple of rolls are bad. Just redo it all. Okay. Roll it again? One. Yeah, roll it again. I oh, like my 70. Oh, oh, no, no, now you're gonna get it. Never mind. Oh, there it is. Oh wait, no. There I just have to click it once and updated it. Yeah, I'm less. Milo, <laughs> since I said that, I guess you get to keep your 17 as well. I can, I'll take the seven. I don't yeah. mind it. Eh, it already says 17. Like you're a lucky yeah. boy. It's too late now. I think it's the best initiative I've rolled the whole time we played this. Yeah, that's why I'm giving it to you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Yep. And uh, of course, some of the vines are. Uh, a little on the lower end of the spectrum. Mm. You said I, uh, I took poison damage? Poison damage, indeed. Ew. Some of the vines begin to restrict an enemy, and she begins to fight them off. <gasps> you oh see, an no. enemy turns into a bear, chomping at the vines, <laughs> ripping certain of them off, but at the same time, taking poison damage. Ooh. Oh, no. Milo, as vines begin to surround you and your party, you're up. Uh, okay. I can I scoot past Rex here? I'm mean, tiny. I'm tiny. Yes, Milo. Okay. In the uh, the ground you're in, you're at uh, half movement because it's restricted. But you may. That's fine. I'm not going too far. I just want to scoot yep. past them. Uh. So down, I think this is a wall right here, so I can't go there. It's that square. The square beneath Rex is a wall, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, you can kind of squeeze yourself in there, but then you will be restricted on movement. I don't really care about being restricted on movement. We're just kind of in a weird position here anyway, so if that's yep. fine, then I'm going to yeah, go the, there. The tunnels nearby you are very tight. It's hard to yeah. see what's available to you. Yeah. Uh, that is fine in this direction. Oh no, I've done the thing here. This is bad. Everything's fine. How do I? <laughs> no, I I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, cool. So down all of these hallways, <laughs> basically, yep. I'm gonna cast a new spell that I haven't cast yet. Okay. So new I'm gonna fireball. pull. Pull the dagger out of uh, out of my uh, dagger holder thing that I have. Yeah, uh, flick it up in the air, and I'm gonna cast Conjure Barrage. There's a 60 foot cone in front of me. Mm -hmm. Um. Names. Yep. So it is. What is it? Uh, 60 foot cone. Succeed on a deck saving throw. Uh, teacher teacher takes 3d8 damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one. And okay. the damage type is B slashing because it's a dagger, right? Inside dagger slashing. Okay. 
Uh, no question. I don't think I should be able to change the damage type of this one, personally. No, if it's based on a weapon damage yeah. or slashing, it doesn't That's seem fine. Like it. That is perfectly fine. Uh, alright. That is rough, but it should hit a lot of vines. Okay. So yeah, you cast your, um, cone of barraging daggers. They begin to slash through, slashing the vine in front of you into pieces. It is completely decimated at that point. Several vines behind it begin to be slashed up and ripped into pieces as well. And immediately the vines before you seem to be at bay. Cool. I'm that'll do. Wake that'll Europe. do. The much larger vine, of course, you see before you. Mm -hmm. Um, two questions. Which direction were we going? Was it... Were we walking this direct oh what the heck you came through oh. this direction right, this gap right here and right here you haven't decided oh, what Bob. direction to go yet this okay. way or that way what is this guy <laughs> this big guy right here it's a big vine that's really oh, okay attacked ignatius um don't you still grappled by a white vine yeah i am second question how do you rule spell casting when it's a bonus action? Can I do a bonus action spell and a cantrip or a bonus action spell and a spell? You can do bonus action spell and a cantrip, yes. Okay. Only or a spell and a spell bonus action cantrip. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of bonus action cantrips, unfortunately. You can do a spell and a bonus action cantrip. That, that works the same way. Uh, I don't have um, an example to support that, but yeah. Okay. My third question is, is this in entire cave in case in mines or just the floor it seems to be the floor and many of the walls are indeed encased in mines okay mm. um i am going to uh -huh. misty step Ooh. 30 feet this Small. way well, it, it's up to 30 feet. Yep. So I will go... With your lit torch, you can see that far. I also have my dark vision. Yeah, you're good. Okay, so I'm going to go... Ooh, i got to move myself. I'm going to go whap, right here. Ooh. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> I thought... I didn't realize that it was changing from just me. That was weird. Yep. Um, you will have personalized vision. Yeah, I was gonna Ooh. say I don't know where she that's went. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, oh, look I, should then. I can't. Yeah, oh, I can't cool. see you. No clue where you are. So you see that's things cool. that they do not. That's cool. Okay. Yep. Um. All right, and then I'm going to. So that's a free. Was here, thing. And now she ain't. <laughs> yeah. So, and I don't think I've cast Misty Step before. I might have once before, but I'll just be like, Duh, and I'll just go like this, and then a cloud of smoke will just engulf me and I'll just be like I'll just disappear and I'll appear over here All right. um and then I will cast a firebolt at this dude here okay um, make your attack I did so much damage to Milo and not to this freaking thing Probably didn't yeah, you fire off the attack it hits directly in the vine. Um, but as you hit it, it seems that the vine has some sort of oils wrapped around it, which deflect part of the fire, deflecting it directly into the sides of the wall, which part of which are the roots of Mother Myrtle. Oh, yeah. no. The vine seems only lightly abated. Do I get from that that I'm hurting Mother Myrtle, or do I get from that that you see larger they're protected roots on the side of the wall, which you immediately struck? Oof. This. So Ooh, yes, shoot. you've hurt the roots, the large roots. I'll just be like, sorry, out loud. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Ignatius. Indeed. Um, you have a large the... vine in front of you, which just mildly deflected some fire coursing across yes. the back of it. 
Is an enemy look like she's fine? Did she tear up the vine that was next to her, or is she still kind of like, She seems to way? be handling the vine, as a giant okay. bear does. Excellent. Then I shall just make my way toward the vine that's right in front of me, and I shall attempt to hit it with my big axe. All right, make the attack. Do it. Seven. Seventeen you indeed hit the vine dealing seven points of piercing off your first Beautiful. attack. Beautiful. I shall follow this up with a lovely thing known as the magical um, healthy living. To, uh, yeah, yeah, match. I make it happen. Yeah, so the one for this one at least. Mm -hmm. I don't cast. Cast. No, there you go. <laughs> Second time. Aha! There you go. You see a little bit of a uh, sink. Yeah, a little bit of your... Uh, Smite coming into play here. No. Is it actually hit it again? Absolutely. So this thing begins to show some ash gathering upon the outsides of it. Um, mm. And you hit it again with a second swing. Nice. And that will not be followed up with the other demand smite, just the one. Alright. Yeah, it seems to recoil a bit from your hit, but be ready to lash out at you again. And which it does. So, it is going to attempt to constrict you. You see the vine Perfect. begin to attempt to wrap around your obsidian armor. It goes to roll. It rolls a nine. That does not hit me whatsoever. It attempts to do it again with a second attack. That also does not hit me whatsoever. And it completely fails entirely. Yikes. Um, another large vine begins to creep where Milo and Rex, you immediately see it Man. swarming along the ground as if it was a giant snake reaching towards you. But that is as far as it may go. Rex, you're up. Cool. Uh, hmm. I'm going to cast Spirit Shroud. Lovely. Bring my little friend out for this fight. Um. So immediately you all see wisps kind of floating around Rex. The slightly golden hue. I'm trying not to light anything on I fire. <laughs> fair. This fair. Is on fire. <laughs> so, yeah. um, so that was a bonus action to cast that. Any other actions? Uh, would it be cantrips, right? Can I do cantrips? You can do a cantrip. You see a vine approaching in front of you. All right, I'm going to do... Uh, I'll do a toll, a toll the dead. All right. Dolzy dead. Kick, kick, kick. Oh. Awesome. Wisdom save. Let's see how a vine can do with a wisdom check. It's going to be godlike, watch. Super it's, wise. It's, it's oh, really say not. that. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that was intelligent. Sorry. Wrong roll. Wrong roll. <laughs> or don't get me excited. Wrong roll. Wrong roll. I got you excited. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Uh, oh. oh. It's a very wise vine. Here we go, I told you. you With a plus zero, did that was a natural yourself. 20. You no, I know. <laughs> it was just expected. I knew it was going to happen. Did that, but yeah. <laughs> um, yes, indeed. It seems the vine is unaffected by your tolling of the dead. Your necromancy has no effect on it whatsoever as it continues to advance forward. Meanwhile, smaller vines begin to creep and attempt to lash out at people. One reaches towards you, Rex. Another yeah, shot, man. begins to reach towards Wick. Oh, you little... As more <laughs> Wherever you are. Forward, take its place. So, uh, Wick, um, you will suffer the wrath of nothing. Does a 13 hit you? No. Tickle. All right. 
Does the tickling of the vine affect you, Rex? With an 11. No. So you both feel these uh, smaller vines begin to wrap around your boots. But they, of course, begin to enter. Rex, you feel them wrap around the, of course, different wrappings that you have around your lower legs. And this vine in particular seems to be unable to penetrate your cloak behind you. Meanwhile, Milo, you're up. Uh, all right. I am going to use my meta magic to, uh, I think it's Quicken Spell? Is that what it is? The one I usually use? Uh, yeah. There's an action yeah, bonus action. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, so yeah, quick and spell. I'm gonna quick and spell the mage armor on myself. Hey. Uh, and then for my uh, action action, I'm going to cast a fire bolt at the one, the big one. But I'm going to change it to a force bolt. I'm not lighting this place up. I'm going to change it to okay. a force bolt. Boop. Rex no seeing seeing my little thing, I'm like, hmm. It's like it comes out of the book as a fire bolt, but halfway through traveling, it changes to a force yeah. damage. <laughs> Just and mentally boom. like, what did I say? <laughs> uh, <laughs> smashes so I... <laughs> into this vine, breaks a few of the leaves off of it. I need to hit it first. And we're going to see. And oh. as it does, it's just going to blast several of the leaves off of it. You see as they have a minor spray of them going into the background behind it. As it seems to be damaged. Do you have any other moves, Milo? No, that was all my stuff. Mage right. armored and then uh, cantrip. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, 2d10 ended up in a 7. Noted. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> my damage rolls aren't the greatest. <laughs> not, not today, they're not. Um, anyway, Wick, you are up as a small vine seems to have crashed up against you. But the larger vine seems to be wrapping itself around your ally, Ignatius. Um. Da, 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 I'm going to. Well, I don't know if force damage worked because I don't see that. But, um, to get these guys, yeah, to get these guys away from me. I'm going to take my hammer, and I'm going to flip it, and then slam it into the ground, and just go, leave us alone! And I'm going to cast Thunder Wave! <laughs> Echoes for 300 feet. Indeed. Oh. Um. Yeah, I'll cast this at first level. I was like, do I want to cast this on second level? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thunder wave at first level. This wow. is 15. Yep, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the vine in front of you is still good. It's still standing. That's fine. Did it take damage, though? Oh, it took damage. It took a little bit. Hell yeah. What about the big one? The big one. The big one, indeed. It took a little bit of damage as well. Okay, it didn't look like it was reflective of it. No, it didn't completely cool. uh, nullify the damage of what you put out. Force works. Sick. Even you know what's coming next did, round, uh, baby. <laughs> kind of cast thunder damage against it, but, you know, it's all good. It's all good. I thought it was force damage. I mean, thunder wave is thunder damage. Oh, yeah, no, 2d8 thunder damage. You are great. Anyway. Ignatius, you're up. Different. I'm ready. Let's go after that big one again. Oh, big old vine trying to grab you in front of you. You miss. You swing down on it, but it's a thin Alas, vine. Alas, I redouble my efforts. one of the leaves, but it does nothing. Immediately, you retaliate, coming back with a backswing, and pierce it directly in the core of the vine. So oh. Maximum damage. Ooh. Is that a divine smite you're using against it? Indeed it is. Well, with the crit, you roll double dice. So give me some more, why don't you? What can do? This is just the, the damage, right? Yep. So just some more of that. All right. Ooh. This vine seems to be weakening before you 
as it is suffering from repetitive attacks. Does the radiant damage double or no? Seems to be doing enough damage. I meant like because the crit. Or no? Am I being dumb? I don't oh, know yes. if Divine Smite would double them that way. Would it? I think yes. I it actually added the, the four because you just took over the piercing thing. But yes, it should be the radiant damage doubling, not the piercing damage. Because it's uh -huh. you already did. If oh, I smite, see what you're saying. Yeah, when you crit yes. in core D&D, all of the dice double. Um, Divine Smite being mm -hmm. dice doubles. Anything you roll... Except well, yes, I knew of that, minus though. I was, just, I was just looking and seeing the damage it displayed didn't seem to have doubled. That yeah, was all it didn't by itself, so... Instead of the four okay. you rolled, just roll it an additional. I see. Divine smite. Okay. Ten. Yeah, that's <laughs> better. More satisfying. It's even better. <laughs> Nine piercing damage and then 16 radiant. Nine? Is that, is that eight? Eight. What? Eight piercing Five plus damage. Four? So 24 in total. How do you see four? Is four. Ne four is negated. Eight. Five didn't double. The, it did double. The, eight the three is the double. double. It was just really low. Yeah, the three is the double. rolls for both. I really said no. Yep. Five plus three. Three is the, the extra dice rolls. Yep. So, plenty of extra dice have been rolled. Oh, so you rolled two. Okay. A yeah, lovely right. amount of It damage. auto rolls the crit dice for you. As the vine begins to constrict you once again. Come on. Try. <laughs> nice. Oh, it tries again. Nice. <laughs> it fails. Uh, well, good news. Another one's ready to go after uh, some other people over here. So Milo, Mr. That's Wizard. Me. It's with, me, Wizard with Guy. Now. Um, Wizard Mage Armor now. Wizard I'm trying to create an item that I can just equip on and off for Mage Armor. Well, it's going but... to try to construct it with its moves as well. 19! Yeah, well, Mage Armor does not help me against the 19. Okay, so you and take I can't eight see you. points of bludgeoning damage. As you are now grappled. Okay. So, is he grappled? It is Wait a going to begin to entangle you. The vine wraps around you. There's so, tiny Milo too. Can you make a athletics check for me? Uh, okay. How does large reduce? Oh, I guess no. I'd be big Milo now because I cast mage armor. So concentration spells. Yep. Um. So, you say uh, athletics? Yes. Okay. So you're able to avoid being completely constricted by this thing. Um, but of course, you do take the original damage. And as you reminded me, could you take a constitution saving throw? See if you'll need your remains. You simply have to beat a 10, and you roll a 20. You're good to go. Hell yeah. So, as that begins to go, Rex, you're up. You see the vine begins to constrict Milo. Hey. A smaller vine uh, approaches you as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Mage armor is not const uh, uh, concentration. Uh, I didn't think so, but... I thought oh, it would have been. I, hours, right? I would like to do inflict wounds on the big vine. Okay. Make it happen. You immediately reach out to touch it, and immediately as you do, darkened veins crawl across the vine from root to stem, and it begins to cripple before you. Mm. It takes the full damage of 60 necrotic. And I also get to use my spirit shroud as an additional thing of damage. Yes, you do. Make it happen. Uh, I don't think I have a thing set up for it yet, but I can just do it as well. Yeah, roll it. Please be good. Yes. <laughs> One D eight. You roll I'll an eight. Take it. I'll consider that as good. I'll take it, and I'll put more necrotic on top, because I can choose. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it takes an additional eight points of necrotic damage. As the smaller vine, it's going to try to wrap around you, Rex. Don't touch me. I'm fragile. Well, it's <laughs> fragile you are. Uh, Eleven. Not That's a miss. Enough. Um, one's going to try to wrap around you. Nope. With a nine, and another is going to catch up and wrap around Wick as well. Silvery barbs. Oh. Silvery barbs, okay. Remind me what that does. They have to roll with disadvantage and take the low, take the new roll, I think. 
Okay. Use the lower roll. Sorry, I, I gives them a different disadvantage. Yeah, it doesn't hit you. It doesn't hit you. Nice. All right, and then I give Iggy advantage on his next d20 roll. All right. Iggy, I got these ones. Get that one. Get the big one. Very good. So vines begin to creep towards all of you. Um, but these vines seem to be at bay. Milo, you are up. We can see okay. an enemy beginning to tear apart one of the vines as it wraps around her. Seeming to successfully dispatch it. Okay. Uh, seeing that uh, a touch of death totally worked, uh, I'm going to launch some necrotic uh, magic missiles at the thing in front of me. All right. So three of them. Uh, of course. Magic missile is the one that doesn't function correctly. There you go. Well, there you go. Pew, pew, pew. Ten points of necrotic damage. Immediately pierce into the vine in front of you. Unable to miss. Okay. Anything else, Milo? Wake you up. No. Okay. Um. Smaller vines begin to surround you. Uh -huh. I just don't know if I should use everything in this fight. Mm. I'm going to cast. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave leave. again. Thunder Wave? All right. But I'm going to cast it. Second level this time. Second level Thunder Wave. I'll take a, a different tool, like a, a bigger tool, hammer, or chisel, or something. I'll be like, you're not I... listening! And then Thunder Wave? It should still hit the big guy as well, mm -hmm. but it'll hit the two little guys in front of me. So Thunder Wave at second level. Submit. Alright, well, you roll your damages. They seem to be an 8 plus 17, making 15. And... Mm -hmm. boom, boom. These two blast apart. Now, they do have to make constitution saves. So let's see if one of them actually survives. Mm. Uh, no. No, no. What about the big guy? <laughs> they did not live. But the big guy. They did not live. Still has to make his constitution side. I, in fact, did not live. <laughs> 11. Full damage of 15 points. Hell yeah. Blasting upon this vine. Another. Indeed. You guys' ears start to ring. Because <laughs> I let off another thunderous boom, boom. <laughs> through the cavern. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, the tinnitus, the tinnitus sets in. As, <laughs> right. as tinnitus rumbles across your ears. He's just doing his smacky, smacky, smacky. You have advantage. This is an advantage. It's a 22, but you know, it's more It there. does hit. That's safe to then say. I hit it again. Or at least try it again. Okay, you hit it and you hit it again. Any smites or anything like that happen? No smites this time. Well, it goes down. Completely crumbling to dust before your attacks with the combination of the thunderous smite behind it. Ha! Nice one, Wick! I got you. The other vine this time is going to attempt to attack Rex. It's very him. weird not being able to see them. <laughs> God. Yeah, right. Uh, Rex, does a 24 different. hit you? That's all. <laughs> No, no, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could you make me a strength saving throw? Ah, uh, yes. My flimsy arms will do that. Or athletics, whatever is better for you. I mean, either or. <laughs> yeah, I don't think either. So I mean, things. it's not good. It's so okay. Six damage is taken as it begins to wrap itself uh. around you. You manage to resist it completely eclipsing you. As is now I just... your turn. I just read the full extent of this constrict. Yeah. Yeah, it's disgusting. That's why I was praying I didn't get hit. <laughs> mm. 
Um, cool. So the big boy attacked me, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna do inflict wounds again. Just to piss this thing off and hopefully hit it again. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. You, you miss. I did miss. <laughs> the damage hurts. You're distracted. Does my does my spear shot still hit it? Because it gets. I believe a, it does. It does it. I think it only. Yeah, until the spell ends, only... any attack you make deals a one d eight. Is that if you? Is that when you yeah, hit a creature? It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't the say. Again, just to be yeah, I, I can drop it again. This seems like you have to hit the creature for it to do the damage. Yeah, that's why I was curious. Any attack you make. When you hit a creature within. Yeah. When you hit a creature, okay. Well. But All technically right. speaking, just it's, it's, the vine is slowed by ten feet. If it tried to run away from you. Sure is. Yep. You got that going for you. Anyway. The already did... slow moving vine. <laughs> the widow vine's going to uh, make an attack on you. So yes, it is. <gasps> it's a miss. Failing miserably. The other one is I going said. to and wrap around the corner and uh, find Ignatius to attack it. <gasps> Does it a 15 me. No. That plate armor coming in big. Yep. Yeah, and I got a shield too, which also boosts my AC by two. Absolutely. So That's the end of the Vine's okay. assault. Milo, once again, you have returned. Uh, as I'm going to require another token, Zylo, in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know why. Uh, I think. Uh, as a bonus action, I am going to use my Manifest Mind. Uh to hey. conjure a mind of my awakened spellbook and i'd like to place it just like kind of let me see can i get like a is this thing is that what it is yeah right over here okay That's so cool uh i get to see everything i get to see it has it basically it works exactly like me it's 60 feet of dark vision i yeah. can see what it sees easy oh another um, milo yeah <laughs> it's just a little ver like holographic version of me yeah I um, like my holy mirrors, but yours can actually do stuff. <laughs> um, it's different. Yeah, you see everything over Bordo. there. It doesn't seem that there's any more vines immediately attacking, but yeah. there's vines uh, scattered across the walls. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I guess uh, for my actual action, I will. Uh, I will. Cast. Witch bolt on uh the vine in front of me very good uh what type of damage is that again it's lightning right let's make it ice damage let's see what happens okay uh so i will fire at it where's the list there you are Ooh. okay well you certainly hit it um can i roll anything higher than like a two <laughs> three yeah you just see your damage isn't quite three on a d12 buddy <laughs> it's been real rough all right oh. so, the same as strength you know until he has to do self-inflicted damage and the light <laughs> turns into a he was max scattered snowstorm just isn't quite mm -hmm. it's, it's like a small fireball okay. like a snowball yeah. Pew. it's mildly uncomfortable for the vine as it strikes it's like Ugh. Wick, you're oh, that's up. frustrating. You have dealt with all of the immediate vines around you, but the large one seems to be attacking Ignatius. <sighs> Didn't Ignatius kill the big the one? The large one's no, but there's another one. It's not attacking True. now. There's another small one. Yeah, a small Ignatius. one. I have no idea. I can't see it. <laughs> I, yep. uh, well, I can kind of see this little guy. Kind of. I don't know if this wall is blocked. Like, I'm sorry. I can yeah, see this can guy. Move I don't know around if this wall towards is your allies and see him, I'm sure. <laughs> Peeking down this way, is there anything over here that I can see immediately or no? Take a perception check. Oh, yeah, I didn't click that. Perception! You don't see any more over that way. Okay, I'm gonna go back then. So, five, ten. Um. I will say it's, uh, you know, difficult terrain as you move through here. So, if you want to do any more movement, it's not easy. That would be twenty. Yeah, I'd be at twenty feet, so I'd have like one more, maybe. Um, 
I don't know if I can do anything that's gonna hit those guys. Does the small guy? Did the small guys look like they also had that like oil on them, or just the big guy? Time when they were fighting me. Range. When the ones were that were at my feet before, when they were fighting me, did I notice anything? Make a nature check. Do, 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 do. Nope, I didn't see. Uh, I mean, maybe. Um. Cool. Well, then I'm just gonna. I I don't know, so I'm gonna hope that they don't have the oil on them, and I'm gonna fire bolt it because I don't want to hit Iggy with anything bigger. So. Okay. Make the attack. So yeah, you fire and hit this thing almost perfectly as it completely <gasps> incinerates before Iggy in a cloud of dust. Yay. Yep. Ignatius, you were... I turn around to yeah. Wick first, and I say, Huh, guess I don't have to worry about that one now, thanks. You're welcome. Is there any more? I can't uh, see. There's a, f there's a few over by Rex and Milo. Okay. That means all right, though. Um. Um, do I... I guess since, since we posed the question earlier, is there anything I see in the alcove over this way that we were heading toward? Nothing immediately. Cool, that's fine. I'm gonna um, move my last spot before I uh, end my turn. I'll sure. just move, like, right there. All right. Cool. Then I am going to, assuming I see nothing to next to Wick, but come slurking out after her. I'm gonna go this way. Five. Ten. Fifteen. He just disappears out of sight. <laughs> Twenty. I'm gonna go after this little vine that's next to Mr... Rex. We see an enemy completely rip through an assassin vine of her own, as it is now destroyed as well. Ignatius runs over it, attempting to attach, attack the vine, and he does hit it, dealing four points of piercing damage. So Ooh. good. Such good damage. Yes. It's okay. Hit it again. Or right, try. Okay, you hit again. And uh, you do That one again. is a little more satisfying. And as you swing a second hit at this thing, you found the weak spot with your first swing. You swing, hammering it down into the same spot. You manage to uh, completely decimate this vine before you. The larger vine is going to attempt to finish the job on Milo. So. First of all, Rex, could you make me... Another athletics check. Okay, you managed to kind of wiggle your way out of this massive vine as it once again attempts to constrict Milo. Failingly, uh. a natural one and a 10, unable to completely wrap around its mage armor. You feel it wrap a vine around your arm, Milo, but it slips right off as the magical nature of your armor is able to repel it. It is now Rex's turn. Hi, hi. Rex, you've broken free of this vine. A freedom. <laughs> as it stands before you, partially damaged by your necrotic attacks. Cool, I'm going to do Toll the Dead. Okay. On it. Um, okay, so it needs to make a, a, a viney wisdom save. <laughs> okay, plus zero. Let's go. Thirteen does not oh, succeed against your DC of fourteen, and it takes right. seven necrotic damage. Cool, and then I'm gonna do my spirit shroud again. Yep, you indeed did hit with an attack, so you get to deal your full damage of spirit shroud. And it is an additional six. Lovely. I'll do cold damage. Cold Rice. damage. All right. Very good. Um, a tiny little vine is gonna. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna mm -hmm. find a spot that it can kind of squeeze through, and it is going to also go after Milo. Because that seems to be what's fun to do in this campaign. <laughs> With a three. It misses against his mage armor. Moving up to Milo, you now have a chance to retaliate. 
Yeah, try again, bucko. <laughs> Bozo. <laughs> Rip Bozo. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a D12 of damage. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say because it's the way I cast it. I mean, it's, it's uh, what was the last time? Ice damage? Yes. So, same thing. Okay. Okay. Let's go. You fire that off and... Just auto does damage to it. Yep. It's my action. With your witch bolt? Yep. It seems does not succumb to the damage as much as you had hoped. Well, crap. Wah, wah. Bless and that's unfortunate for me. Indeed. I believe Wick is up. Unless you have anything else. Milo, you got anything Oh, else? no. I'm, I'm good. You're good. Okay. All right. Wait, Sorry. Well, do I see anything down this way? Nothing hostile. Cool. All right. Five. Ten. Fifteen. That's as far as I can go. Yep. Oh, you see the larger is... vine attempting to wrap itself around your allies. Yeah, and everyone's standing right in front of it. Yes. Uh, don't use the flamethrower here, but... You know, I might. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, means... definitely can't. Burning I mean, literally everyone in front of you. Let's just My cloth! There. Yeah. Listen, right. I, I would like to go back to about 30 minutes ago when you shot a fireball at the one that was wrapped around my leg and I mean, it burned me. Off a cone <laughs> and that <gasps> yeah, of yeah, yeah. Hits everyone in the room, really. Which <laughs> became my party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My health not change. Just. I got more health than that. You think you're going to do over 50 points of health in one shot? My flamethrower? Yeah. I think my flamethrower does a lot of damage, actually. It's not 50. <laughs> Okay, so I don't have 50 points of health left, so... <laughs> Side the point, don't do it. I don't have that much health. As much as I appreciate you trying to save me, I'd like to be saved alive. Anemone also doesn't have 50 health. Actually, she's in bear form she's right now. She she's a bear. She probably does. Yeah, she she's is like... fine. She's like double health she's bar. A bear. Mm. She's in phase I'm... one boss mode right now. Yeah. When we see a dragon, it's going to be the end of it for all of us. That's all I'm going to say. So, what do you do? With Can it? I hit a firebolt between them? Because Milo, Milo's smaller. Yeah. I'm it's wrapped ball. around me. Past Bling the bear, one. past the six and a half foot dragonborn. Yeah, you can do it. Uh, oh, not even six and a half. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand on top of em Anemone. <laughs> I'm going to stand on top of Anemone. So I can get a like a higher point. Make an acrobatics check. Um, yeah. Then she busted her ass. <laughs> you go to jump on top of the bear and immediately slip and fall backwards. I let off the fire bolt into the ceiling when I fall. Like yeah. <laughs> a complete and utter disadvantage. The fire bolt fires completely ineffective against anything in the room. Boo. Well. I have no movement to stand up, so. Yep. <laughs> Ignatius, you're up. Cool. All right, then, Big Vine, say hello to my little friend. I'm very consistent. I will say that I fell oh. right here. Oh, boy. Apparently, it does not say hello to my little friend. Yeah, no I assume someone else is oh. saying hello today. Who, who does that hit instead? Does it hit a new oh. one? Does it negative? You know, it's a lovely. Uh, Okay, I'd like no, to remind you that, that I'm the one attached to the vine currently. I if it's going to hit anyone, it's going to hit me. I gotta say it. It's, otherwise, it's like... Ignatius, could you roll me another d20, please? This regular flat, flat yeah, I can't wait flat, to be killed. Secret or public? Um, I guess this is payback. Secret. We'll do secret. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's GM slash GM roll, I think, right? Yep. Well, we'll know if I get stabbed through the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, Milo... <laughs> Oh, That's yeah? Sweet. What is it? You see as this large, thunderous pickaxe swings down towards you. They have slight flashbacks of accidentally firebombing him. Doesn't hit the vine. Didn't think so. But it hits the earth directly beneath you. Digging in deep. Not hitting anything. I think Ooh. I'm going to need a new pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> It's dark, um, you can't see, it's fine. Ignatius, I'd say you have another attack, but you have to use the rest of your action getting your pickaxe out of the dirt beneath you. 
That is very fine. Then uh, I an will... Enemy. Yeah, I guess... She's guess fighting stuff as a bear, okay? She did. I know. She's just bearing I, it out. Didn't, I didn't see Xyla move her, so I was like, what? She was there. Where'd sure, you go? she may have been accidentally a casualty of me removing the uh, spread of your <sighs> flamethrower, but she's gone now. We can live uh -huh. with her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes, that's fair. We're cool. It's gonna be some real disappointing. Yeah, it's gonna be real. Miss... That's gonna be some real disappointing news when you talk to Kayla later. Hardcore. Yeah. I won't <laughs> pull my pickaxe out again. Uh, so I suppose the vine is now going to attempt to. Let's go after Rex. He's already broke through it once, but let's see if he can do it again. As the restriction comes around you with another natural one. Yay. <laughs> Uh, oh, stop! Money <laughs> it tries again. No. Yes. <laughs> That's the exact same rolls. Uh, oh my god. W's. A one and There's a three back to there. back. W's. Back to back with a one and a one. My well, stonks really do be rising. My stonks. Rex, uh, it slaps the grunt against the ground nearby you, frivolously. Nothing well. bad happens to you. <laughs> Uh, okay. Milo, um, a much smaller thing attempts to tickle at your mage armor. Good 16. Yeah, oh, I hit. You take four points of poison damage as it gently caresses Stings the side of my leg. Of your face. No, don't caress the side of my face. It does. <laughs> my Kill perfect all. blue skin. Caress. It's, yeah, slightly reddened now. Um, but it's your turn, Milo. Oh, great. Hey, you skipped my you. turn. Yeah, I did. Hey, yo! Okay, let's go ahead. <laughs> Just for that, inflict wounds. Do it! I carry on the DM. On whom? <laughs> on whom? The DM. Oh, no. Please. Please not on that one. Please not on that one. Please not on that one. No! Hey, you fire Still. it off. This isn't able to quite hit your target as the vines lash around. I wasn't even aiming for the vines. I was aiming for the DM. <laughs> yeah, the DM is way too smart to be a fighter. <laughs> what way is your AC smart. anyway, Zylo? What would it be? Like 25, 30. Uh, something really else I can do. Milo, you're up. Sadly. Could have just skipped my turn in general. I did. <laughs> I... <laughs> hate this. Um... <laughs> understandable, understandable. I guess. You feel the vines begin to wrap around your boots, Milo. Yeah, mm, don't like it. Not the boots. Leaves begin to tickle your ankles. Ow. Okay, stop tickling my ankles. Uh, I'm going to save some more spell slots and save the witch bolt damage again. Okay. Can you change the damage after you've cast it? <laughs> I'll tell uh, you I'm going to say no. Because that yeah, would be cheating. I feel like the first witch bolt would be the, uh, the damage type. What you choose. Because mm -hmm. okay. it's sort of like a dot damage, right? Either way, so. your Witch Bolt has proved entirely ineffective so far with the rolls you have made. Milo just rolls over and prepares to die. Wick, you're up. I'm going to use half my movement to stand up. Yeah. And now I can't go anywhere. <laughs> One more square, kind of. I'll do that to try yeah. and see if I can see over Milo. At the, at the hey, vine. you can see there's a bad guy over there, vine lashing about. There's also a bunch of allies you could potentially hit if you misfire. I'm <laughs> say if you're gonna a one, a two, maybe a three. There's three people there, so who's to say? Oh, I was gonna use my arcane slingshot, and now you're making me think otherwise. <laughs> it does a lot of damage, but to who? I'm gonna use it still. I'm gonna All firebolt. Right. Lovely. I'm going to conjure the firebolts in the sling. Negative. Love it. Natural wood. I mean, Natural I told you wood. what might happen. You oh. fire away, and it fires whizzing past between the heads of Rex and Milo, sinking itself deep into uh, the assassin uh, vine, attempting to attack them, dealing 15 points of fire damage with the additional seven points of damage from the slingshot. The vine seems to recoil. It is suffering greatly. Mm. But Ignatius, your move. Yes. I did to hit it with my pickaxe. Yes, you, like yeah, you swing, you swing. 
firebolt go you by. Hit. Yeah, it just like passed my head. Just Thanks, as man. it passes your head, it gets like <laughs> you see it, and it gets like even brighter, like a like a yellow, or no, because it would be what what gets hotter, like blue. It, it gets yeah, almost like blue. It would go from red blue to yellow to, to orange, white to yellow. And then it hit. And it's like, uh, but yeah, the fireball completely um, red, does orange, some damage as the pick yellow, white, finishes blue. this thing off. Yellow, and the blue. vine or blue, white, sorry. is decimated. Mm -hmm. Milo, you see as the smaller vine begins to reach out against you. Immediately, Anemone charges as full bear and rips the vine out of the ground. You can see the roots completely ripped out of the ground as well as she crunches one more time in the vine. Is also defeated. Yay! Okay. Uh, I will drop to my knees and just hug the bear. The bear attempts to hug you back. <laughs> hey, dealing, hey, dealing well, 20, 20. Yeah, it does 25 ah! damage with claws. <laughs> Make no. an athletics check. Oh, oh, no. Why did we say anything? We need to learn yeah, to shut up. we're terrible people. Oh, yeah. oh, pop up. You're fine. You managed not to bend your arm off. Don't worry. I can, yeah. Roll an 18 for a, a random athletics check, but two is on my damage. I hate it. Mm -hmm. And it appears that the vines around you have been thwarted for now. Ooh, what is it? Oh. Um, Milo's looking really rough, right? I've lost about There's half my health, yeah. There's been multiple people taking damage. Precisely you and Milo at this point. I will go up to Milo and I will um, just lay a hand on them and I will cast Cure Wounds at first level. Alright, you cast your Cure Wounds at first level. It's me. It's and not much. Nice. It's Milo, you gain saving points of healing damage. Thank you there. Some might consider it a hill. Heal. Yeah. I'll I give me a health bar. I guess I'll do the same for Wick, so that way we can get some HP back. Indeed. Thank you. Uh, just... I, go, I see you guys doing it, and as you guys are attempting to do this healing, I'm like, I, 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 could, I could also kill them too, if you want. There you go. Thank you. All I can do is create fire. No one is going to force you to do anything. If you want to offer it, you can do so. I was just saying, I, I, I've got a bunch of help I can give out if we want it, so you guys can save your, your spells. No, it's fine. Let's save the emergency health. Find an emergency. Mm. Mm. Agreed. All Rex right. got mo I just have some cuts now. A little scratch. Was scratch. Uh, we'll a little, be able a little to... rash. Need some cream for it later, you know? Yeah, yeah I've got a few burn marks. Those are new. <laughs> from me? Oh, I mean, from that and also the poison. Oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, sure it's okay. I'm very used deep. to it. Bit of interesting combo. Well. Well then. Um. Maybe we should find a place to rest or something. How long have we been going for? Like, maybe an hour? Uh, yeah. It depends. What do you mean by going for? Like, how long have we been walking? The fight was obviously only, like, a couple minutes. Yeah, the fight was a couple minutes. You've been going into these tunnels for less than an hour. Yeah. Okay. This is not a really good time to rest. I didn't think we have been maybe going for that long. Maybe we should walk for another hour in a bit and if we don't find anything we rest and then we continue trying to find something I think we should just I don't know this doesn't seem like a safe area to rest or hang out but at the same time I don't know if we're going to find one I don't know I'm just throwing out ideas Ooh, no, the locals made it. lines across the walls begin to slowly creep towards you yeah the locals ah, did say yeah. this place was going to be quite dangerous I I light a new torch because I'm sure the other one burnt out or I dropped it at some point. The goal is to figure out what the source of these vines is anyway. It seems like they're pretty congested here, so it's very likely that where we're at could be a stronger source of it, especially if they're so prone to protect this area. 
Exactly. But I don't feel like we're close to the tree at all. I feel like we're going to get, like, this big, like, mother load, like, right underneath Myrtle, and that's where it's going to be, and it's going to be this giant, like, seed of, or egg or something, and it's going to be corrupting everything. That was only that way is... to, one way to find out, right? I mean, we but can it's... keep walking, and if we uh, decide that there's nothing down there, we turn around, and we head back out. Okay. Mm. But if we do almost come across something, we should rest because if it's sentient, it might see us and it might be like, and then we're dead. So. Yeah, this is Perhaps. a fair point. And don't forget, we have a, a dome of pure safety as well. <gasps> it, it didn't really go great last time we used it, to be honest. We yes, were swallowed. it did. I mean, we were swallowed whole by a worm. Okay, but we would have, if you didn't do that, we would have woken up just dead i suppose we wouldn't have woken up at all hmm. that yeah that's if we use it though we're gonna need to find a place that doesn't have these vines underneath because it's not really gonna protect us on all sides is it i as long as we clear out the space necessary the vines should not be able to enter if anything i could place some candles around and light them yes also if you're worried about them coming from the floor the floor is also protected hmm. yeah, so the thing that I'm more worried about is that when we uh, come back to, that the vines have overgrown the dome. Hmm. Which would pose quite the problem. What about the candles? If we put the candles around, would that not keep them well, away? I mean, you have the alarm spell as well, so we could uh -huh. maybe set it out a little bit farther. And if uh, yeah. they are approaching us, the alarm will go off. Yeah. yeah, there's multiple ways to protect us for right now. Yeah. yeah. And that alarm, as long as I've got enough time to do it, doesn't doesn't expend anything so i can just put it rex and i can go around in a circle and like i'll do the wire and then every couple of feet we can like wrap the wire around a candle and then like keep going mm. and then that way we've got like a perimeter i hope that we don't make a summoning circle though with the candles <sighs> well. i have once accidentally created a pentagram before it is fine nothing bad will happen Let's just not make any uh, over-exaggerated shapes. True. And I think we'll be fine. Well, now we've got a game plan. Let's continue walking and see if we find anything. That sounds like a plan. Hmm. All right, so who's taking point as you advance through these root-wrapped tunnels? I can't see. I can, <laughs> but because I have a torch and I can see. Yeah, you should stay towards the back, though, I think. With the torch. If you're gonna, have, if you're gonna okay. keep the torch. Do, do so you need a you. torch, Milo? I am fine, I can see. No, but hey. I'm not asking if you can see. I'm asking. Oh. The torch isn't for me to see, it's for fighting well, either, the either you or I need to take points, because we are the only ones who can see far enough down the the, the uh, path here. Mm -hmm. So, unless one of us is taken second, I guess, and somebody else takes point. That's what I'm saying. You and I, it doesn't really matter, but either one of us could be at the back or the front, but I'm asking if you want mm -hmm. one of my torches, because I have ten, well, nine now. Um, if you want one for the front, so you can fight off vines. Uh, how tall is uh, How tall is everyone? I might just be able to see over whoever wants to take one. I'm 5'5". Five, five. I think the only person who's taller... That, yeah, I'm the only eight. one that's taller. Rex is taller. Yeah. Rex yeah, is taller. I'm 6'10". Six, I'm six, so, I mean, whoever, if somebody else wants to take point, I can see right over them. You wonder why it took me a moment to get through that. <laughs> but... <laughs> I forgot. Thank God, I'm not, thank God I'm not wide anymore. I'm wildly Fine. complicated with Rex's height and anemone and the size of a full bear. Just hmm. deciding to stay in a bear form. Bear. I'll take, I'll take point. It's fine. That's fine. I <clears throat> Does anyone have anything to assist me in looking? I mean, I have my dark vision. Okay. But, so do you know? I'm. You're fine. Cool. I'm asking for the help action. Cool, cool. Uh, so cool, I can have cool. advantage. Cool, cool. I mean, <laughs> we can both stay up front since we both have dark vision. Yeah, you it's can help from the back with your range of dark vision. Okay. Cool. Cool, Once cool, again, cool. the vine, the uh, tunnels are kind of winding, <laughs> so there's very few circumstances where you can see 
up to 60 feet ahead of you anyway. It's fair. And you advance forward. Could each of you make a perception check for me? Hooray. Can do. Pretty good. I see nothing. That is so in character. The blind cool. people. <laughs> that is oddly correct. <laughs> it is beautiful. The people with night vision levels. can't see you. None, one, two can't. So, nope. <laughs> Milo Wick, you happen to see what seems to be a trail of these green vines leading forward across the ground, where several of the dark brown roots, the larger ones, reach across the walls around you. These vines eventually lead to this open corridor. A pool of water sits in the middle of it, seeming to be partially dried up, but with one large stem in the middle of it. The stem seems to extend to the ceiling of this room, which is only 15, 20 feet tall, but from that stem seems to be a cluster of these ivy leaves tightly wrapped around itself. Well, I think we uh, have our prey. It's like a stem as in like a trunk or like a, like a vine stem. Like it's like kind of kind of like. Okay. And you it's it almost like, a, like one of those like wall vines. Yeah, like imagine a wall vine, yeah. a grapevine. It's a vine yeah. that has oh. many leafage sprouting from it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And does it come from the ground or is it like in the middle it of the pool? It seems to be attached to the ceiling of this room, um, but also reaching into the pool of the floor of this room. Okay. So it's getting its nutrients from. Yeah, so that is clearly the things that is uh, providing value to these vines. Mm-hmm. Now the question is whether the pool of water is important to the trees and the roots, which I assume it probably is. Probably. So we just pull the vine off, correct? We take it out and then it's gone, I would think. I don't, I'm not, not very big. I don't know that much about these types of vines, I don't think. Anemone, do you get a vibe at all? You know, I don't speak burr. <laughs> Pull the vine down if you think it is an okay thing to do. You see the bear steps forward. No, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> we need to rest first. Cool, cool, we need to rest first. <laughs> oh, no. Say that, but... Uh... Too late now. So right here. Of course, it's a druid, so the, so the wisdom score of the druid is what stands. Okay, sick wisdom. Plus four. Okay, natural three. That's a very minute. She is the bear. Sick wisdom. Sick wisdom. Jaws around the, uh, the vine itself <laughs> and begins to tug at it and tug and shake and tug. And you see <laughs> as multiple mm. clusters mm. of these dark green shiny vines fall from the ceiling you know landing on the ground around you as what appears to be this big mass of tangled vines the thickness of a tree trunk collapses to the ground in front of you almost completely encompassing the bare form of anemone And before we roll initiative, that's where we'll end the session today. <laughs> I found it. I found a problem. <laughs> Man, uh, Kayla's going to be so mad. <laughs> look, you know, you don't. She's got another wild shape. So she's, that she's is big chilling. It's going to be so fun when we tell her, hey, this is what hell. you did as a character. Yeah. Because you weren't here. Why? Yeah, why'd you do that, dummy? Could I? <laughs> when another player prompts the... the... Oh, vacated player from doing is in one of these things. 
Who am I, I to say? I need to just shut can't. my mouth. I really do. <laughs> I made a wisdom save for the person with 18 wisdom, and they failed it. So, can I um have act Burr. like right before initiative activate my spell ring? It just gives me a spell slot back. I'd say you probably would have done that when. Because I like, I was like a panicking. Quick. Hey, can we get a can we get a rest? Can we get a rest? No. Can we get a rest, please? No. no? Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna just twist. I'll just twist my the golden ring that I made, and it'll sure. imbue my hand with magic, and That's then fair. I get a spell slot back, and I can choose whichever one. So I'm gonna give myself back a second level. All right. Lovely. Damn. Well. Seems that our. Uh, party is we're gonna die so far been able to deal with the vines now there's bigger vines so yay we will see what they're able to do um of course once hopefully anemone is able to return and they are able to fight off these vines at full strength complications have arisen uh mother myrtle has struggled deeply because of these many many vines Will the party be able to save them? <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It's determined. We'll I swear see. to God, if there's a pixie in this tree, they will Next they time. they will see pain. They have not faced my full wrath of lightning somewhere. bolt yet. <laughs> but hopefully no. you've all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, of course. I suppose does anyone have anything to say before we dip out of here? Mm -mm. I'm doing a community stream Subscribe. tomorrow. Yeah. So if you want to play me in Couscous Dock, come to my stream. <laughs> I kind of do, yeah. to be honest. I've never played it before. Really oh, it's fun. And I've never played it before, but I kind of want to. <laughs> also, cool we'll do a little shout out. Make sure that you go and check out the Discord for all the fan art. Fan or... art? <laughs> Check out the Dice and Fire YouTube channel if you're brand new and you want to get caught up on the campaign so far. There's a lot of content, a lot of stuff to watch. A lot of trauma, a lot of drama. Trauma, drama, and chaos, baby. That's how it goes. A whole bunch of it. But yes, of course, many people have been posting their fan art, including some, of course, sketches that have been drawing just during the stream. Um, so yeah. feel free to continue adding to all this wonder as our party struggles against the dangers beneath Mother Myrtle. And yeah, I suppose with that, thank you all for watching very much. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Dyson Fire YouTube channel where you can find all of the previous episodes as well as other campaigns we've run. If you like this one, there's probably at least one other one you'd like. You'd like. <laughs> You know, Tales of Olympus has Michael in it as well as me, so that's cool. Because as a gambling character that I play, neat. Or the I play a campaign. played a wine guy, it's super chilling. Yeah, he's okay. being chilling. A wine connoisseur. Nah, it looks hot, eh? Oh, it's God. hot, dude. I like that wine, bro. Yeah, that's pretty much what he played. <laughs> or even Awakening, which Mitch is in, as a arguably even edgier version than rex yeah def <laughs> def definitely more edgier that's for sure which is wild but true hard to achieve but done nonetheless mm -hmm. so check those out tune in at some point next week for the next session of titan's edge and we will see you all next time thank you for watching and farewell Aww. Nope, no one's saying anything crazy. Ah! That's, that's tame. Rolling backpacks! <laughs>